Okay. Well, everybody's. Uh, I retweeted the guy. He he did uh, message you on Twitter. I don't know if he can DM you or not, but you should be able to see if you look at my yeah. timeline. Okay. If yeah, that I is him. Minutes, if, yeah. if that is him. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm giving him the link right now. One second. Why save the white race? <laughs> All right. Got the link in your DMs. You jump on. There you go. All right. Fun times. I want to ask him what, like, what progress, what first step in the 20 year plan was made at that bar. That's what I'm curious about. What do you think, Jim? What what do I think was <laughs> what 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 did they accomplish at the bar that day? Yeah. Uh, nothing. <laughs> oh, that would oh, be my no. honest assessment. Nothing happened. Nothing got oh. accomplished. It was a group of thirty people got together and got drunk and then donated to a, a PayPal link. <laughs> really? Oh, oh, that's upsetting. I thought that I, was the start of the SJWs being. You thought that was the start of the next uh, revolution, did you? Yeah, I, I was so excited. Now, how come V didn't show up? That's what I'm disappointed about. You think he would have been there for the first ever liberalistism ism meeting? Yeah, he's not. I don't, and he's the leader. He is the de facto leader now, and that yeah, crown was given to him. He is. Oh, hello. 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 What up, dude? Uh, Godwinson. Uh, hey, man. Someone sent me your sort of coverage of the video I made. Um. <laughs> What do you think to it? What do you think, just as as Americans, as people who aren't <laughs> oh, this boy. weird bubble? I, I got to ask you, how many times did he circle the block before he went in? <laughs> <laughs> You've got to realize that he was so ashamed because there weren't many people there really outside of the building, and he was. I think he was trying to scout it out. We thought he was looking for V, but V missed his plane. Um, we just thought he was. We we thought surely he can't be that embarrassed. Um, and every time he kept going around the block, uh, his fans were going, Sargon, Sargon. <laughs> <laughs> was he just trying to pretend they could be like, was he trying to pretend he couldn't hear them? Surely he had yeah, to know. Yeah, this. exactly. Exactly. And he's about, he's about, what, 15, 20 feet away from them. You know, they all knew that he was aware of, it was, it was very embarrassing. It was very embarrassing. <laughs> so he just kept circling the block and ignoring them as they kept screaming his name every time he looked around. <laughs> Well, I mean, probably the word screaming is too strong. There was sort of, because you've got to bear in mind, these people don't have great diets. They spend most of the time living on the internet. So oh, they, got, the, they the, get too winded to scream. I gotcha. Nice, yeah. soft whispering. <laughs> <laughs> Sargon from across the street. <laughs> but, I mean, I couldn't pass it up. I couldn't pass up not going. Um, so the context of all of this was, I, I'd declared war on the liberalists about three, four days before, with like a, with like a my, my fan base, which is essentially a, a collection of neats who I want to uh, use to rise up and, you know, re-engage themselves in society to try and, you know, re-affect the, the white birth rate. And I hadn't realized that I was such a known quantity to Sargon and his uh, acolytes and the, these, these members of the cult. Uh, I was on a blacklist, basically, with Kevin Logan and a few of the others. No way. Wait, were you really? Black? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Because you want to save the white race? <laughs> yeah. What a <laughs> fucking piece of shit. I was just saying this. Fuck that. Oh, my God. Well, Go you, ahead, have, you have to realize that, I mean, there's all of these liberalists, they all exist in their own little power bubble. So, I mean, the liberalists of the Facebook group are different from the liberalists of the Discord group. Um, and I think Sargon had chosen the, the Facebook group as, like, his ordained people, the ones that he was going to grace... Um, with his presence and so they organized the event mm -hmm. and i thought you know i there's no way i'm going to get here but i'll just blag it anyway you know uh, they're all fairly you know, low test you know <laughs> i'll just i'll do whatever i can you know to get in and i i went to the door and they were like oh we're aware of you i was like oh, i can come in then and they were like uh and i just i i just got them to stamp me and i, I just went in and i was like it's so this, Wait, this so they, they had you on a blacklist and you still yeah. got in? They're that? Yeah. They're that yeah. not confrontational <laughs> that they just let the dude on the blacklist come on in? Well, the thing is, Jim, you have to, like, it's all force of will with these people. You know, there's no, like I say, they, they, they lived on the internet and they were all there simply for Sargon. And I found, you know, very quickly, I was, I was talking to them and none of them were there, like, what's liberalism? What are you doing? And, and they, oh, no, you know, it's all a bit of a, it's all a bit of a ho, ho, ho. We're all here for Sargon. Um, 
anyway, we found out that Sargon was in the building because his uh, presence was signaled over the radio. They were like, Sargon of Akkad is here. I was like, this is so bizarre. Were, so there, just, little, made... were there little fireworks that went off and streamers that shot out of the sky when he made his entrance? Well, like I say, there was the faint sort of, yay, Sargon, Sargon. Um, someone took his coat off him, I think. Um, I will say that he had... Sargon, then the event, they hired out the entire building, and it was about 4500 they spent. Um, all on Sargon's dime, I think. And that's why there was all of these like PayPal uh, QR codes handed around. Um, he, so Sargon had put on quite a good show. There was lots of like, nice beers there. Uh, all free. Lots of canapes. All free. Very, it's very, it was very tasteful and very nice. Um, but it has to be conveyed that there weren't that many people there. And all of the people that were there were essentially white men. How you know? many smashable uh, checks? Andy. How many smashable checks? No, and, Andy. Checks? And, Andy, no, I saw in the chat, and I was trying to stop you from carrying on. Um, that that thing that Sargon was trying to I position himself for, uh, that tranny. Called um, it! And oh, called it! Camera. I, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, was, I was being optimistic. But you know why he's trying to position himself towards uh, that? It's what? because it makes it seem more diverse. You know, it makes him feel more uh, justified. Um, are, we, are we talking yeah, about yeah. towards the tranny? Was she was a tranny, yeah, yeah, the blonde yeah. one, or the or the brown hair one? I think the blonde one is oh, the tranny. Yeah, when it was zoomed in, I was like, oof, that doesn't look... Andy, come <laughs> on, listen to, him. listen to this retconning. You were like, I fucking... No, no, the one, on the, the, right, yeah, the, one on the right, the brown hair. The brown hair. Them tits the up. I I'm gonna fuck that girl so hard. Yeah, you know, no, that was the one on the right with the brown hair. She, she, but, but, but the blonde zoomed in was, ugh. But... It was a tranny. Okay, fair, right, fair enough. I did speak to to one which I'm sure was a woman, uh, sort of outside in the smoking area, oh, and I said, you know, why, why are you here? What brings you out to come and see Sargon of Akkad, you know? Uh, and she was like, oh, I've only got three friends. And I was like, that's so tragic. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, no, so Sargon is, Sargon's presence is signaled, and they all they all do this sort of low-test cheering, and I'm like, okay, uh no one, no one's getting up for some reason. No one's going out. So I just thought I'd go over, and you can see in the video where I just go over to him, and he's already got, he's already flanked by a group of people, um, and they're, they're, oh, they're talking about the most uh, big brained nonsense, you know. Oh yeah, freedom. So when they, you know, when they're cheering freedom of speech, like uh -huh. they've got an intellectual like uh, rights on freedom of speech, as though they're not just cheering stuff like, you know, the sky is green, uh, <laughs> you know, the sky is blue, the grass is green. Like, oh, oh, let's all cheer for free speech, as though Sargon's the last purveyor of free speech. It's just uh, nonsense. But they were all having these, like, high-minded concepts. And I just went, you know, Sargon, um, what, a, what about white people? What about the rights, the moral rights of white people? And he was like, I don't, I don't believe it exists. What? And I was like, said oh, that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, in the video, he what? says that I, I don't recognize the existence of white people. Yeah. Um, Are you joking me? Well, he's, you've got to remember, Andy, that he's a quadroon, you know, and I essentially harassed a black man uh, on Saturday. I didn't... Uh... What a piece of garbage. And, but it's... The, the thing you've got to realise, though, all of that event was white people. His whole liberalist cult is white people. So him saying he doesn't care about white people is him saying he doesn't care about the majority of his fan base, really. You know, um, he got very agitated with our conversation. And it came, you know, it came to me like the day after, actually, that I was probably the first person to bring up these talking points to him in real life, you know, because he, he exists in this little uh, bubble and echo chamber. Um, someone came up to me and said, oh, I've just spoken to Sargon. And he's like, why is Godwinson in here? And I was like, that's very funny because <laughs> he was trying to get me ejected. But none of them, none of them were uh, playing ball. I spoke to the. So the only two parts of diversity, and this is what I want to bring up, um, the door staff, they were, uh, it was one black guy and like a, a Polish guy. And I went out to them. I was like, oh, what, what do you think to this? And they were like, oh, they were like uh, do it, doing this with their hands, you know, just to make out that Sargon was short. And I was like, oh, well, yeah, I mean, you do know who he is, don't you? And they were like, oh, who, who is this? I was like, that's Sargon of Akkad. You know, these, these are all his... Uh, he saw, this is the start of a political party. And they were just laughing. Oh. I said, have you been fed? And they were like, no. Have you not had anything? Have they not, like, passed you anything around? So, basically, the, the two representations of, of any people of colour were on the door, freezing, 
and not being fed and just laughing at what was happening inside. Um, and all of this stuff about freedom of speech, you know, we are so diverse and they didn't even feed the people on the door. So I got them fed. Um, I spoke to lots of these liberalists and like I say, you know, uh, they were aware of me, but they still let me in anyway. It was. <sighs> so you went to have a little bit of fun, a little bit of just to what, was scope good. it out, have a laugh. And I, the thing is, because, you know, he just had that thing with Antifa, you know, on the Monday. I didn't want to harass or bully Sargon. I just wanted to have a bit of fun. And I think I put the cause a lot better to these people than, you know, had I gone there, you know, autistic description of the white people, white race and, and morality of, you know, You're what the right You're good. Do. You're back. Uh, you, you blinked out for a bit. Just uh, repeat, like, just, just the last bit that you said. You, you were blinking out, but you're good now. Oh, well, like I say, I, I think I came across just, ha I was just having a laugh. You know, I wasn't there to, to shove Sargon or, or, or get in his face like those Antifa uh, nutters. And they don't, like, the way, I mean, had, had it have gone that way, you know, they'd have had good cause. But if you just go in there, um, have a laugh, poke fun at it all, and then put your case put your case to them that you know there, there's no argument there they all recognize that what they it's just a sargon cargo cult it's a personality cult um and i hope i did everyone proud really because there was lots riding on it because this it let's not be around the bush this is the start of sargon's political career he realizes that um youtube's not necessarily the best place for him to be um yeah, and he's trying yeah. to diversify into in real life events so there's going to be yeah, more of yeah. these with V, you know, with the quartering, you know, he'll he'll have his little entourage with him at these events. Yeah, but what? Uh, the, here's the thing I don't get, and I brought this up to Sargon and to V and to a few of the other ones. Um, what are their political positions? It's real vague. Well, it's, uh, it's basic it's, rights that everybody would agree to. Freedom of speech, yeah. great. That's not unique to you. Like, what what is your plan? And then you get the well, it's a secret twenty year plan. We're not going to tell you about. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, you all saw that was the. I mean, I was in the Viper's Den. If there was a secret plan that was about to be released, it would have been there by Sargon. But you saw how ill-prepared Sargon was. He was like, oh, I, don't, I don't know what to fucking say. And you know when he's doing... <laughs> you know when he's uh, asking them to cheer about the political compass test? He gets them to... He's like, who who came here uh, left on the on the political compass test? And they all go, hey. And then he goes, oh, who came out right on the political compass test? And the more there's more yays because I had a lot of... Um, there was like a group of, of my people in there. And we were just louder than them all. Uh, we'd actually had proper food <laughs> and we went yay and he, you can visibly see how pissed off he is you can visibly see how uh, annoyed really? he is and um, one of them says oh you know we're all gathered here you know and uh, to the left and right of us we're all and then I just said you're all a bunch of tossers and Sargon starts laughing and then he looks at me and he sees that I was the one that made the comments and he just stops you can visibly see him just go <sighs> Because he can't believe I've not been kicked out, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but when they're cheering, like like Jim says, they're cheering truisms, they're cheering freedom of speech, they're, tre they're cheering, they're just cheering their Sargon, basically. You know, this all lives and dies with Sargon. Um, now, there, there are a lot of, uh, I'm going to guess, liberalists in the, the chat at the moment saying that you're completely lying, but I, I don't know what you'd be lying about. I mean, you filmed the whole thing. Well, so. it's, it's all there. And there's more footage. You know, I went with a few people. Um, I spoke to, like I say, I spoke to lots of these liberalists, um, and they were just telling me, you know, it's freedom of speech, and mainly we're just here for Sargon. We've not got many friends. Um, lots of people there had seen Sargon previously. They sort of follow him around in these IRL event things that he does. Um, so lots of people there, you know, two to three times they'd seen Sargon. Uh, now, do you think you'll be responsible for the increase in the price of these events? I mean, now it's just asking if you can donate, donate. But clearly they're going to need security for you blacklisted individuals <laughs> to get rid of you. So do you think you're driving the cost up? The security guards themselves, the actual people they hired, just thought it was so funny and were just letting anyone in, you know. Um the Facebook moderators are sort of, uh, they've got the blacklist and they've, they're looking at things and they're, you know, any, anyone with a force of will will just get past them. You know, there's nothing there. Uh, I will say though, that they were all amiable. There was, there were, there was lots of goodwill there. You know, they were all passing me beers. They were all passing me food. They were all saying, Oh, you know, how are you? Cause they'd seen my videos and all of that. And I was, I was, I was very happy with that. It was, it was simply Sargon to be honest, who got very triggered when I started talking about, uh, the right for white people's existence. He got very, 
I don't know if I actually catch because I was trying to position the camera. Um, but when I mentioned Richard Spencer and Mike Enoch, he gets very he he, he had his, like a hand tremor started happening. I was like, God, oh God, you know, uh, what's going on here? He was like, uh, Richard Spencer and Mike Enoch don't want people to have rights. They don't, and I said, Well, they do want people to have rights as long as uh, rights as long as they're white. You know, I mean. But also, I'm, I'm, you're misrepresenting their arguments. There's not necessarily, but this is how he's trying to deal with it now, isn't he? He's trying to just live in this little echo chamber. That's what it's all about. He doesn't want to engage with people like us anymore. It's all over, so, you know. Are, are you are you going to make a game of this then? Every time they have a meetup, are you going to go film it out, scope it out, yeah. and upload it to labs? Be, I, I, the thing is, I don't think that would be conducive. You know, I've I've had my fun. This is now. I found out exactly what it all is. You know, it's it. This is essentially just Sargon Sill cults, um, and it won't last. It's the liberalists are the evolution of Kekistan, you know, and that's and, and he'll get more embarrassed as time goes on, and he'll just retreat from it. I think. Um, but I just wanted to understand your perspective. I mean, do you do you not think that this liberalist thing has gone a bit too far now? I I just think it's stupid. Um, I, yeah. I look at it like I would look at most online political movements that don't really go anywhere. Um, and, you know, they have their hurrah for maybe six months to two years, and then everybody wants to pretend they were never a part of it. You know, it's all well and good when it's first starting and everybody's hyping it up. But then when you look back on it, all these people are like, I, well, I wasn't part of that. I wasn't promoting it, but they clearly were. Uh, it, it, again, it's very vague. Like, you can bring up <laughs> principles and say freedom of speech, freedom of association, you're not telling me anything that every you know everybody else is saying that. So what what would your policies be if you want to be a political party, if you want to try to affect change and all that? Fine, but you have to have something uh, substantive. You have to have like actual fleshed out uh, principles. I mean that was his criticism. Real of life shit posting is not a political movement. Well, yeah, but I mean, wasn't that his criticism of Spencer? Is, oh, it's just a fiction, Richard. You're, you're living in fantasy land. You don't have any real principles. The alt-right doesn't have anything that's, you know, uh, written down. What, what, are you, what are you going to do? How are you going to do it? A lot of whataboutisms. Hold on, So, hold I mean, on. if that's fair game. Hold on, before, before you say, like, was there any, like, tangible, political, anything to what you saw? God, did you well, see well, anything I mean. there with that? That's what I'm saying. They're cheering. They're cheering freedom of speech. They're cheering. There, there is a bit where Sargon says, uh, "There's lots of people, and there's lots of people above us," which I thought was the the biggest dog whistle there, you know. But he could have just been talking about because he's a very short fellow, and lots of people are above him. But I thought, you know, what's <laughs> what's he what's he getting at here? And then he just says, "Yo, there's lots of people above us who are trying to destroy our freedom of speech." You've got. And and Jim will be more aware of this because it, I mean, it, he, was it any he, deeper than the us versus them, the rebellion mentality of being held down? Was it anything beyond that? Was just that was no. just the vagary they went with? Well, so Sargon's whole political thought processes come from Gamergate. This get, Gamergate's what got him into this, isn't it? I mean, this is what he's made this career on, on the back of. And you've got to realize that the politics of I know I know Jim did a lot of stuff back in the day on it. Yeah, but you've got to realize why Sargon came into it for. He came into it because, you know, some some feminist was criticizing his video games. And all of his videos and, and positions from that, he sees the SJWs, he sees people like Anita Sarkeesian as the ultimate end of of, a, of of what he wants to protect. And really, they're cheering, you know, I don't want my pawn taken away. You know, Sargon wants to still be able to, you know, um, frequent massage parlors. He doesn't want to be any, he doesn't want any sort of moral dignity in society anymore. He just wants to to safeguard his rights and the rights of, of these Reddit people. So, I mean, there's no, I think when you, when you find a political movement or you found a person and a person's politics on the back of Gamergate, I think that really sets people up for what we're seeing now. Because look, Sargon is just mundane, mundane maps. There's no real difference between them in the grand scheme of things. Would you agree with that, Jim? <laughs> well, mm. I don't know if I don't know if Sargon's put affiliate links. In Excuse me, yet. Jim. Do you have <laughs> your Do you have your uh, treads on your shirt just yet? You can hop under this bus and get them if you'd like. Uh, well, you know what I would say is um, 
this is all Monday and Matt's fault. He's taken credit for starting <laughs> Gamergate, right? So if he started Gamergate and Sargon started because oh, of Gamergate, then Monday and Matt is really the grandfather of the liberalist movement. Oh, he should have the crown. He should. Oh, he should. He started it all. Yeah. Do you I remember know. when uh, Nita called Monday Matt a fucking garbage human? That was yeah, the, I do. It was only him. He, she pointed right at Matt and said, you are a garbage human. Yep. No, Billy, you know that's not a joke, right? Like, I'm dead yeah, fucking no, I'm, serious. I'm well, aware, I'm well aware of what he's been saying, yes. Yeah. But exactly. Jim, you know in that conversation you had with him just shortly after he set up the Liberalists, and you quite rightly poke fun at him, and you quite quite rightly get him to say, you know, I just can't wait till I go back to my video games. And then, but in that stream, he's trying to appeal to you because obviously you came up through the ranks, as it were, with this Gamergate thing, and he almost can't believe that you don't see the SJWs as the ultimate evil in society. I, I was more taken aback by the fact that he used the same. <clears throat> Sorry, I've got a bit of a cold. He used the same tactic on me that he used on Spencer. I see him use it a lot. In fact, if you go watch his streams, you'll see this come up. Now that I'm going to mention it, uh, but it's very Seven Day Adventist, uh, or not Seven Day Adventist. Uh, what the fuck am I looking for? Not Mormon. Uh, like light? Uh, is it the Watchtower? What fucking religious group is it? It, it feels culty. But basically, what he does is he shows up and says. I know what your political beliefs are. I know you better than you know yourself. Yes, you can't yes. disagree with me. I know what you're... He did that to me. He did that to Spencer. He did that to other people. And it's Glenn, really I'm weird. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, wants, but what it's, is... It's, it's, it's a throttling of insults and compliments. Oh, you're, you're, you're doing this wrong, but you're so smart. You're doing this wrong, but you're so smart. I know more yeah. about you than you know about yourself. It, it's very yes. cultish. And it's, it's the whole stepfather meme isn't it i mean the more he carries on with this behavior it, it becomes less and less of a meme the more he tries to as you say patronize say i'm disappointed in you present himself as this paternal um figure that we all must strive to to be the more he just looks ridiculous and i think i don't know how long it's going to carry on i would like a maybe not a richard spencer rematch because i think you know they've they've aired all but i'd like mike enoch to talk to him and I thought it was very telling that he he left the moment Mike Enoch left that um, arrived at that stream the other day. I thought it was very telling. But he needs someone, maybe just to shock him into action because I think he's he's gatekeeping at the moment. There's a lot of people there who come in to watch Sargon. They look at the uh, oh SJWs, all of this stuff, and that's that's mm -hmm. only only goes so far. When you realise that Sargon actually offers no ideology, actually offers nothing uh, helpful apart from just throwing shit at things. Um, no, no, dude, dude, it, it's a twenty-year plan. You don't know anything. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, I mean, Andy, we, we just found out. <laughs> plan, but, but no, the twenty-year plan, Andy, is uh, deny the existence of white people um, and as much porn for everyone, freedom of speech, yay, and and more more Sargon events where you all um, shill for his PayPal, which has a direct. Uh, no, you, you're getting super chats a lot from Trent Ansky. Asni, I'm not. I don't even know if I'm saying it right. But uh, saying douche knowledge of planning a field of straw men about Sargon. All his views are in his videos. Uh, but I think we covered that. I mean, they're very vague. There's nothing really nailed down. There are no policies. What planks are in his platform? Can you name one for me? What's his policy on immigration? What about you know? How is he going to run the government? What is a liberalist party going to do that's any different from any of the other twenty fucking parties that exist? Can you name the actual policy, not just vague statements of? We believe in freedom. Well, fuck everybody does. Nobody wants to live as a goddamn slave. It's Everybody supporting is. the status quo, and the only thing different, the only extra ingredient, is you get to have Sargon and V as your king emperors. You know, uh, living it up. That's 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 the only difference, really. There's no. I mean, this is this just it's the status quo. It's the status quo, and when I think when Sargon's fans realize this, or the ones that are still clinging onto the boat, when they realize that. He's just throwing shit at things. He's essentially doing what they do with their culture of critique. When they realize this, they, they're going to realize there's such an empty void there. And it does need to be filled by a proper, meaningful set of political beliefs and not just whatever Sargon says. Uh, now they're screaming for a liberalist to come on, but yeah. I, I don't know I don't know any uh, aside from V. I mean, that'd be up to talk of. Is V available? Does he want to come on and explain the oh. in-depth uh, policies and platforms no. that we're unaware of? No, no, yeah, no. I'd I'd a to, new liberalist, please. Someone. I'd like to speak to V as well, because lots of people have brought tickets. Uh, well, I say lots, but you know, yeah. the few people that have brought tickets, not just to see Sargon for that uh, thing. Uh, they were very disappointed that V had missed his plane. You know, they were very disappointed. And there was no explanation offered by... Oh, Sargon wait, was he actually people. scheduled to show up? I, I didn't even know oh, if he was yeah, really yeah. going or not. Oh, okay. Yeah, he was scheduled to show up. Uh, Sargon, in his video, 
he he announces, you know, I'm going to be at the uh, thingy with V. It's going to be great. We're going to launch it. And uh, well, we all saw what was there. It wasn't necessarily a launch of anything. It was a Sargon cult. Just you know, let's meet Sargon IRL. Um, Somebody saying bring in hardcore. Was hardcore? Uh, was that guy a liberalist? Talking, you know what I'm talking about from uh, backyard blood sports. Yeah, his jokes are great, though. I guess Tonka's disappeared. He's he's had enough. He's walked away. Yeah, he's probably ordering Chinese. I'm I'm messaging V right now. Any other liberalist, if you want to come on, you could email me or failure, Andy Worski at Gmail, or failure accomplished at Gmail. Uh, and if you want to hop on, and yeah, because I, I legit don't know many. I mean, I know there's Sargon. I know there's V and Rags and the little mm-hmm. Louis, whatever French guy. Uh, but aside from that, I, I don't know any. And hardcore, I guess. How about that chick, the one that I was talking about with the brown hair? Was she smashable? Andy, stop lusting after Bye, trainings. Sorry, what are you sorry, doing? Sorry, what sorry. are you doing? I'm just curious. Go ahead. Next. How, uh, how many how many dicks and dresses were at this gathering, would you say? <laughs> I think there was more than one, actually. And Sargon was so pleased that there was, there was any presence, because it, it, it allows him to say, I'm diverse, you know. Um, and I think in his video where he sort of goes, I really have a great time. It was really great. I really enjoyed it. You can sort of see that he's desperately trying to bring up these people, these tokens that um, have weirdly found attraction to Sargon in his personality cult. I don't. How about white people? Like, did he say anything about white people while he was there? Or is is that why you were blacklisted? Just that he denied their existence, Andy. Um, You know, and the. I mean, personally, as an Englishman, I don't necessarily believe in this whole uh, coalition of white races, but I definitely believe that, you know, white people are a thing and they exist. That's completely nonsensical, you know, completely deny that. And I said to him, would you deny, would you not deny black people exist? And would you deny, you know, the rights of Jewish people? Would you deny their rights? You know, if because a lot of their identity is built upon it. It's simply Sargon that doesn't care about these things. You know, and they and they, they just they just completely shut down. They well, well and also he talked about how his grandpa was, you know, half black or whatever. Which... He didn't talk about that when I would spoke to him, but um, on many times he said that he's this quadroon, hasn't he? Which is, I mean, do we does anyone believe that at confirms this point? that there are different races? It's like, black. there are only races when you know you don't want to acknowledge the white. You know, the, the, Sargon is not necessarily the smartest tool in the shed. Um, and this whole, oh, we don't care about race, we don't care about sexuality, we don't care about these things, these intrinsic things that are part of people's identity naturally. Well, if you don't care, Sargon, you know, other people will, and you will be assimilated, and you will be, you know, overrun. And that's the problem. But they just think in this freedom of speech, liberalist, uh, you don't have to bake the cake, or you do have to bake the cake. I don't, that wasn't settled. In this society, it's all going to be fine. But it's not. They, they don't. It's an idealized utopia that's even more utopic than the fucking um, ethnostate. Yo, yo, I have someone. Um, I know, I know, Jim. You were trying to get someone as well. That Trent. Did you get me? No, this guy's oh. name is Timothy. You want me to a t- liberalist? Uh, yeah, yeah, he's a liberalist, and he wants to okay. hop on. So I'll, I'll, I'll throw him the link. Oh, we well, yeah, don't, don't ask me. It's not my show. It's Tonka's. Tonka, uh, Tonka that- are you okay with that? I mean, bring on a liberalist. 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 Okay. Just briefly, Jim, can I just ask well, if you're who, familiar who with was the one that kept donated and one and wanted to come on? Oh, that was that was Trent. I don't know if he'd be willing to come on, but he seems to be part of that philosophy well, or he, uh, group. He wants, there was a guy who said we were Nazis and he wanted to talk to us. It's, yeah. Oh, I want white people to survive. Yeah. What a fucking Nazi I am. Go uh, no, no. I, I'm talking about Trent Acne. Um, yeah. Well, him I, as well. I, I, I'm, I'm bashing oh, him as well. All right. Oh. Okay. Uh, what did you want to ask me before the guy jumps on? Oh, yeah. Do you know who Jahans is? Are you familiar yeah. with Jahans? Yeah. Uh, are you talking <laughs> are you about really? the man with the largest tits in the world? Yes, I'm familiar <laughs> with the um, Will there ever be a video, Jim? Do you think you'll ever cover him? Uh, you know, this is what I get bitched at. If I cover something like that, then I'm going to get yelled at by people saying I ruined it because I brought too much exposure to it. It's like the Terry Davis mm-hmm. thing. I still get yeah. shit over that. Because, yeah. oh, if you hadn't talked about Terry, nobody would know about him. So if I do a video on, on man tits... <laughs> uh, it's it's going to be nothing but people screaming at me for ruining their pet. You know what I mean? So I think yeah. I'm going to leave that one be. Yeah, no, it, it's 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 very funny that you're aware of him because he's very much our Christian. He's the English Christian. Oh no, um, no, I'm 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 definitely aware of him. I've I've, I've watched the content that he produces uh, and it's been talked about in threads for like a year now. 
<laughs> well, I've done a documentary, if you ever have the time, and it's a good little primer for you, Jim. It's very, um, very comprehensive. <laughs> I'll check it out, yeah. I, I, I love <laughs> shit like this, so yeah, I'll check it out. So there's going to be a liberalist on. And also, before you fetch this fellow on, you do realize that everything they say is this Schrodinger's cat. I mean, whatever they talk about and argue about is completely overwritten when Sargon or V overrules them or, or states their opinion on something. Well, we'll find out now. Uh, Timothy, are you there? Oh, uh, you gotta you gotta work your audio a little bit. It's hard to hear you. They're clicking. Is this how he's talking to us in Morse code? Is this how beep, liberal is talk? Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> oh, he can't hear us. Okay, he's just adjusting his settings. Okay. Yo, this Trent dude who fucking hates what what's going on on the show right now seems to have a lot of money to donate. <laughs> just yeah. well, if he's if he's up for um, coming on, he seems he to does, be quite enough about it. Hey, yo, email me Andy Worski at Gmail. I'll I'll stay I'll stay in touch. Yeah, there. Yeah. I'm gonna order some pizza though while you. Uh, can you hear us, Timothy? Uh, yes, I can. Okay. <laughs> so, so what did you what do you want to jump into? What do you want to talk about first? Yeah, um, I want to talk about. You said something about Sargon having no planks in his platform. Yep. Yeah. Um, the the core of the liberalist movement is we want to um, allow the refugees in specifically for the sole purpose of fucking our wives. Okay, that's a true liberalist position to hold. Uh, so you want to get them bold. Yes. You want to get that family black. Okay, we got a real liberalist on, ladies yes. and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, now, how much, yeah. how much, how much, how much black dick does your wife need to take until Britain is saved? Um, I don't know. Around uh, fifteen, twenty kilometers uh, is the average. Kilometers. So that's a big point we're talking about. <laughs> we, we can go further. <laughs> you can go further. Your wife's willing to take it for the crown and uh, king. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. So, so to be and a liberalist, your wife needs a black dick. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Exactly. okay. Cool. <laughs> uh, any other platforms we should be aware of aside from your wife getting fucked by bulls? Uh, anything else you want to enlighten the chat with about the liberalist uh, platform? A mandatory diet of black semen for all that males. <laughs> Is that the, you need to get your nutrition that way, do you? Oh, okay. Yes. Well, it's not. It's not about nutrition. It's about respect. Oh, I don't know I... how Trent is going to react to this when he comes on. I think he might disagree with you about this platform. A diet of black semen and your wife getting blacked. <laughs> I'm not sure how this I... is going to turn out. I was talking. Uh, he invited me to, you know, he invited me and some black dudes over. You know, I he invited me for beers. He invited the black dudes for his wife. And he was on board with this when I talked to him. Oh, really? Yes. Trent's wife was <laughs> fucked by black dudes while you were just having beers just watching? Uh, no, we weren't allowed to watch. <laughs> oh, you weren't allowed to. You weren't even cocked. Oh shit! You're in the other room. Oh, that's a rough one. Not even good enough to be properly cocked. Yeah. Uh, so is that like is that like a liberalist uh, riddle? Like if if your wife gets fucked in a room and you're not there to see it, are you actually cocked? Like how does that <laughs> how does that work? It's like a sphinx type level mental engagement you you take part in at the bar. Yes. Hold on, hold on, hold on. One that, of the things actually... Trent said over in the chat, and I look, this is this is not me trying to be mean, brother. Just hear me out. He said, England doesn't have freedom of speech. Just ask Dankula. Um, yeah, and, and someone, uh, Trent, Andy Warsky at gmail dot com. You want to spell it for him? So maybe A N D Y A N D Y W A R S K I at gmail.com. There you go. So he should be good now. Thank you, in England. Um, it's all the same shit. England, Scotland, Wales. Scotland. Like, they, they pretend That's to be funny. different. They pretend to be different. Well, look, Sargon's got enough political freedom of speech that he needs to defend porn and the, the idea of freedom of speech. I mean, he's not going to be and talking about anything culture. outside of that status quo box. He's not there to advance any anything outside of that uh, status quo. So Zargon's freedom of speech is, is perfectly fine as it is. The fact that he's trying to defend freedom of speech, and then when that freedom of speech is granted, that people go after people like him and, and talk about things like uh, the existence of 
indigenous people to their homelands that he goes off on one and tries to shut it down. So <laughs> Andy, uh, I think they might have misread your uh, your yeah. email. King Carl's putting it out there as Andy Worski at shemail.cock. Is that everyone, the correct one? Yeah, yeah, everyone's saying that I want trans people pretty much for the last half an hour that I want to fuck trans people. Well, you did say you'd smash the shit out of that tranny, so I mean, yeah. it's not like they're pulling it out of their ass. I didn't know it was a tranny because it was blurry. Dave the camera said was less blurry. True things. And if you fuck him in the ass from behind, like, whatever. Go ahead. Well, this man. is a dark road you're going down. <laughs> <laughs> it's never going to go away. Oh, man. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. So, yeah. So, okay. So, yeah. So, I, I understand the fucking. A the liberalist movement more as long as your wife is, is being fucked by black people you know you're on the right yeah, maybe it's a 20 year plan you see because then in 20 years if your wives if your wives are fucking black people and being impregnated in 20 years the kids will have grown up and now it's all mixed now they're all liberalists i get it now good job yeah. Yeah. In 20 years, the Englishman will be 20 shades darker and five yeah. feet taller. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. That, that's, that, that's, that's the whole point. In 20 years, we will have an army of genetic freaks <laughs> to, to make fun, to, to beat up Richard Spencer when he makes fun of Sargon for being a fucking cuck. <laughs> I, have to, I have to say, though, Trent... Uh, you're really terrible at writing emails. Like, is this? Come on, man. It's Andy Worski at Gmail. Just say hi, and I will send you. What, wait, email. no. What? What did he send to you? Nothing. Oh, I thought you meant like he wrote you an email and it was just horrible. I was gonna have you no, read it. No, no, no. It's been ten minutes. What the hell? Come on, Trent. You donated like eighty dollars already. Come on. Uh, maybe have him tweet at you. Maybe that would be easier. I don't. I don't know. Uh. My tweets are fucking just... Yeah, or tweet me, Andy Worski, spelled the same way. I'll keep refreshing my notifications. Oh, I like that. Tranny Worski. That's got to oh, be Oh, guys, me. don't send me pictures. Tranny Worski at gmail.com. <laughs> don't, please, please don't send me pictures of trans this people. Oh, my God. So, so, don't over. send me a fucking tweet. She's totally smashable, like a quote from me. And just put a picture of ContraPoints. Piece of okay, yeah. Andy. Andy, why, why did you wink? Andy, Andy, why did you wink after you said, "Don't send me pictures of trannies"? Wink. Because I wanted to send me pictures of trannies. Oh, you know how many? You got like we... how many people are watching right now? Three thousand. You're gonna get like uh, a fucking couple hundred emails of tranny dick. I hope you're ready for this. No, no, no. <laughs> we we've asked for boobs Make before. Sure zero came them. through. Yeah, but this is funnier, so of course it's gonna happen. Good point. Okay, someone just emailed me named Kirk. He, he did. A, he just literally emailed me to say, his subject, tell Tonka I say hi. Don't fucking, come oh, on. At least throw a picture of a tranny yeah. in there. Fucking make it worth it. Jesus At least Christ. throw a picture of a tranny in there. Yeah, send all the trannies to Andy, and Andy the rest of us will take ass. And it needs to be a big dick. I don't want none of this, like, hormones. Listen to this have, size queen. Have, Holy shit. I, I, yeah, I want no hormones have softened the dick up, you know? Or it looks like a fucking. Dog oh, you don't. Dick. You don't want a post op tranny. You want no. the donkey dick hanging. Oh the legs. no, no! I want you, you became a tranny yesterday. You know. He wants dick flaps. <laughs> <laughs> trendy, trendy race. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Trent, you truly are the worst person of ever. Like this guy can't. Uh, he said he was booting his computer up, so I guess oh he's doing some God, jazz. Oh, for the fuck's point. sake! I don't know. I'm not. I don't know what he's up to, but he's booting his computer up. So uh, my email is quite empty. I don't know what all you. Leave him alone. Let, let, let him boot up his Macintosh. All right. Oh, God, you know, you know, Trandy. I hope they send you the video of Chris Chan uh, <laughs> masturbating his uh, boy pussy, which is a giant infected gaping hole in his taint, because uh, that's that's a real riot oh, to watch. Fucking, I will mark. Didn't it. he get that whole piece? Uh, yeah, he got a piercing, and then it got infected and opened up into an abscess, and he thought he grew a vagina. So he was jacking off, and because the hole was so deep, he'd come <laughs> through it. Um, wow. So he fucked up, and he fucked himself up pretty good on that one. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> guys, guys, an email, an email just got sent to me. The Gmail is fuck liberalists, 
and the subject is <laughs> fuck liberalist and then this the email is Trent is a faggot. I know. Who that is. <laughs> I know who that is. <laughs> that was just sent to me. That's all the email. Trent, come on, man. You're you're a faggot. No, no, I don't jerk off the food up porn. How has your chat never heard of this? You've never seen them. I guess I live on a different part of the internet. They're all well, they're all virginal and innocent. Jim, you messed up the best I, I part. Saw those think he he believed that he grew the vagina by listening to whale sounds, didn't he, on YouTube? What? By listening to no, it was fucking YouTube. binaural fucking ASMR. Oh my god, yeah, that's right, binaural beat. He, he thought he could grow a vagina with binaural beats. That's why he was convinced the infection wasn't an infection from his tank that's piercing, right. but was actually oh. a boy pussy. It had grown. It had oh. grown. Oh. Oh. A few more emails here. Oh, oh boy. Let's see. Ah, oh, you Fucking, uh, you're being marked as spam, you fucking pizza. Where is that? Where is the spam button? Uh, no, what did you say, Andy? You want to send you bestiality porn too? Oh what? my god, of a fucking like infection that was terrible. Oh, is it? Um, did you get the Christian picture? Nah, I don't know. That looked way worse. That was there a fat like... man with a bad looking? No, hair? no, Man-eyed that was uh, literally capsules? like something you'd find on like. You know, some gore website. Fuck uh, Willis for two says that email guy is a jerk. Hey, Jim, you want to do some trivia? Yeah, Did what's you know some trivia? Trivia. Do you know who Chris Tran's favorite wrestler is? Jesus. Oh, we we setting up some. Uh, okay, we doing a little bit here. That's a huge trans cock right there. Jesus Christ. Andy, no, control, it, your it, control your lust. Control your lust, Andy. <laughs> It, oh it, no! It's, it's, it's... My email! No! Stop, guys! Please! <laughs> no, no, my... no, 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 no! Guys, 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 guys! Look, no, I'm no, not... my email! I'm not saying you know for anything his favorite wrestler is Chris Benoit. Oh no, my. Oh, King Carl, you piece of garbage. What he, he sent you? What he, he sent you? Me, like, just all these trans people. Like, fucking. Oh, God, okay. Who, who... Oh, that's, that's nice of him. Someone Isn't sent me a wanted? video. All right, uh-huh. let's, let's see what's happening. Uh, okay, yep. This is... Uh, oh, God, you You know what the best part of this, Andy, is? Is when what? you walk away from your computer and your girlfriend goes to log in and sees your email, <laughs> she's going to be like, what the fuck is he up to? Uh, Do you hear yeah. him clicking into every single That was a... Fuck yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah. No, this is my like a video of a trans... Of a trans person jerking off with like the tiniest fucking micro penis ever. Uh, okay, it, look at this is going. Uh, someone's a uh, Miss Andre, aka DDJ, was the guy on Kraut's task force servers. The server, he made an apologist. Guys, I'm not gonna, no, I'm not gonna talk about fucking Kraut's doxing server. Come on, fuck out of here. Uh, all night just wrote, get cucked. You piece of shit. Thank you for that email. Allow me to red pill you on fucking trannies. Okay, there's, it's just nonstop emails now. I want to... Oh, Red Jumpsuit just wrote, I want to hold hands with the gym and, then <laughs> sent, and sent me a futa fucking trans fucking hentai. Really gay tranny oh. porn. Get Kevin McDonald on your show. I well, thought. this is what you asked for, so they're going to oblige and send you all the tranny porn you can handle. Uh, so we got probably what seems to be a foot-long tranny cock attached to a trans... Oh, oh, there's a trans-Asian chick sucking her own dick. That's how big the cock oh, is. That's nice. That's Someone nice. made an email. Tranny huh. Worski. Someone made a whole <laughs> email. Oh. put a picture of a black person with a fucking... Uh, a trans black person, and then oh. someone asked Jim what he thinks of Boo Hoo Hoo Six Million. Oh boy, I'm gonna just move on from that one. Oh, but Andy, uh, you you've opened yourself up to the wonderful world of getting emails now. I'm sure. I'm sure they're gonna <laughs> send you some great ones. Chris, I share emails. You know that, right? Oh, I hope he. I hope he logs in and is like, oh, he's, in the, he's in the go. What? Oh, fuck, guys. <laughs> Benjamin Ford. Oh, okay. Benjamin Ford just sent me a um, a uh, 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 videos connected to X videos of huge. Oh. A, a link is huge female cock coming and big dick tranny with massive load. All right. Oh, okay. that's, that's, that's the real nice. one. 
He's a liberalist. Uh-huh. And it's just the fall guys. Is, you know what the best part of this is? To get that Trent guy on, you're going to have to go through every fucking tranny <laughs> dick pic they've sent you to find his email. Oh my God. Yep. <laughs> Someone said, oh, wait. Is this it? Is this it? No, it's trans dicks. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we'll set Trent up for another day. After oh, no! Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you uh, pieces of goddamn know. shit! The guy is fucking sucking a fucking sheep dick. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh no! It came. <laughs> You're still watching. Wait, 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 wait! I gotta ask. No, Hammer the sheep. it instantly. Yuck! Wait, no, I gotta know. Hammer the sheep. Oh. I have to text Chris. Hey, man, don't go to the email. Andy, don't, don't read your emails. <laughs> Andy, you know. Andy, I gotta know who came. Him or the sheep? Who, the who sheep came? In the mouth. <laughs> okay, now someone just wrote, I nabbed these from YouTube Saints Discord, and it's black oh. men fucking chicks. Oh, right. that's, that's cool. Okay, guys, this is not... Now so, they're going to send you animal porn. Now it's going to be straight up bestiality because of that. Yeah, rash. I marked that spam and you're, and you're banned forever from my thing. You're banned. <laughs> if you do that. Banned. What is this? Oh, you fucking nasty fucks. <laughs> spam. Uh, what is this? Look, even uh, if we, even if we can't get Trin or whoever in here, we can schedule it for... Got him! Time. I you got him. him. Okay. No, I got him sure? in the sea of black Jesus. giant cocks. And okay. Well, that's where you can find him. All right, Tonka. Can I recommend something? What? Maybe stop. Maybe stop showing hangouts. Don't show any hangouts. Why would I do that? Yeah, just in case why, why, this person why, is a why, sheep. Why, why would Why would I be that dumb? I'll go ahead and do it now. But yeah, if that was your plan, just know. Yeah, we already know that trick. We God, I'm them. hard right now. Fuck <laughs> yeah. <kidding. laughs> All right, Trent, you fuck. I, I sent you the fucking email. Oh, guys, guys, guys. I got literally about 100 emails right now. Stop it. I need to go through all this now. Yeah, no, Andy, that's going to work. Killing of the stop. That's really going to just turn. Please. Well done, Andy. Oh, Good someone job. sent me a, a, a message. I love you, Andy. That was a positive one. I'm going to write oh, thank that's you. A nice one. I'm going to reply. Yeah. Thank you. Was it from yeah. trannydolphinfucker at gmail.com? No, no, Miri. M- Miri at Skeladong. <laughs> oh, I thought it was Miri, Miri of Cox. <laughs> oh, no. No, nobody got it. Uh, all right. Ugh. I'm just fucking, I'm just deleting this. Oh, my God. There's a fucking Photoshop of a woman with dicks. Like coming out of her nipples and her forehead with horns of dicks and just come everywhere. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Weebo Jones would like to like like for you to know she sent you something special in email, Andy. That's what I saw. A uh, Weebo was the one she found pictures of black men fucking white women on the YouTube Saints Discord. Thank you, Weebo, uh, and then send tip pics right after. Thank you. Oh, there's Chris Chad. Fair enough. Oh uh, God. <laughs> King Carl, you know, you know a tranny, right? King Carl, if you send me one more email, I will fucking mark you as spam. <laughs> Andy, Andy, you know that we a tranny, right? Uh, no, she's fine though. Right. Okay, uh, hey Trent, I sent you the fucking email. What do you fuck What was the email? Ew, ew, this is true. Ew. Any gore porn, Andy? you're marked as spam. Huh? Andy, would you would you fuck Weebo? Uh oh. Who wouldn't? Hang on, I have um I have an email here. I want to read. Okay. Oh Jesus. No. Dear, this is from Viter. Dear Mr. Borsky, I am a bit saddened over you being so hard on liberalists. It's really the least objection- objectionable ideology I can think of. 
I hope you get someone that can really defend it because it shouldn't be so hard. And it seems like it's not far away from what you believe in. It's what I believe in. But your environment is not very friendly. I don't know why anyone would go on this show to be insulted and dogpiled over being infeminate. A Andy, you um, said that the name was Vidar? Yeah. Is Viking in the email? Yeah. Uh, that's DSP's super fan. That's Vidar Viking. <laughs> yeah, that's the SB super fan. That's Vidar. I know who that is. Oh, really? What? Yes. That's the guy that was like a mod for DSP and that donated like That's a crazy motherfucker if I if I remember your video right. That's that no, that's the one that ended up getting uh cuz they started doxing all of the uh, DSP's fucking forum members and uh, donators because Vidar started shit with uh Kiwi Farms. It was a real shit show that Vidar uh, ended up creating. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah, that's I, I think I'm pretty sure that's him if that's if that's who I'm thinking of. <laughs> Yeah, Brightside Viking, BSV. Yeah, Vidar. I'm going to have to erase my history after this. <laughs> Worst email day ever. Yeah, I'll do it. You mean after you bookmarked origin, right? You don't want to lose some of those. Oh, yeah. I, I made a whole new folder. Yeah. Someone asked uh, Trady Warski, what's Jim's email? I'm not going to give you Jim's email. Uh, my email is mundanematt at gmail.com. Feel free yeah. to send all the tranny dicks you want. I fucking love it. Mundanematt at gmail.com. Into the Monday. ether at hotmail.com. Right <laughs> oh, yeah. You can do that one, too. I want to punch Monday Matt. Trent, I sent you the fucking link. Take it. You just emailed me. Get your mouth off tranny cock. Get in the fucking click the link, you dummy. So this oh. Trent fellow is a liberalist. Is that right? Yeah. yeah, he's taking a good. Do you while. know why? Do you know why he's stalling? Because they all take their orders from V. V is in his chat logs right now, telling him what to say. I guarantee you. Oh, wait, hang on. Uh, no, we're, um, he's probably just cleaning off the bull. Um, just you know, giving him a good <laughs> spit shine before he comes back on. Well, if he doesn't oh. make it, there's still Schmeckle versus failure. They removed me out of the liberalist Skype group chat. No, they know. They oh, are no. Oh, oh, no. no. Uh, Where are you going to get oh. your interracial porn now, Andy? You'll have to go to a website like everybody else. Yeah, I know. Oh, bro. Uh, say goodbye to all those big black cocks, buddy. It's going to be a tough oh, day. No. Oh, no. That's another oh, one of no. uh, Sargon's platforms. Uh, he wants interracial pornography uh, integrated into the school's curriculums. From ages, <laughs> teach, uh, teach seven. Oh, okay, We've okay. always <laughs> saying she has sent you more emails, Andy. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm in the middle of looking two men fucking... Two trannies in the ass while they're coming. Delete, thank you for Ooh, that. Hot. Let me stream. I'm just, let me on the stream. I'm just like Medicare. No, dude, cat out of, no. Um, okay, fucking big balls there on that one. Now, I can't imagine that Trent is trolling because who spends $80 to troll to make people wait for them to come on a stream? It feels like he would probably be serious Trent. with the money he spent. Okay, Trent, this is the last fucking reply. Holy fuck. Oh, please tell me it's just people making Trent emails right now. No, no, it's the same exactly. one. I sent him already four emails. Dude, stop being... Someone said, please, I need love. I need your love. Okay, now hey, there's Andy, like love you, letters you here. Your, uh, check your Twitter. Maybe he added you. Maybe you can get a hold of him on Twitter and cut through the dicks that you're getting sent on email. Yeah, not, no, not people are writing fucking love letters to me. Does anyone know Andy Worski's email? Oh, boy. Guys, stop with it. It's, it's on Twitter now. Be Andy, trannies, give me handies, Worski. All right. I hope the chat understands that the way to your heart is by writing essays. So I hope they email you essays about their tender feelings, uh, if they're going to do that. Oh, my God. Now my Twitter is full of tranny dicks. Oh, my God. No, I don't see. I just see. I'm, I, it's just dicks everywhere. Oh, guys, please. <laughs> this is so sad. Ah, oh, thank you. Uh, someone's like, here's some eye bleach, and it's just pictures of cute puppies. Thank you. Oh. I appreciate Failure. it. Failure, have you got Bloody any ass and yet? 
I think he skipped out too much tranny cock discussion. <laughs> throw what? Away. Fucking Trent! I have to download Discord. Hang on. It's not Discord! Dude. It's Google Hangouts. Click the link, you okay, fuck! I went ahead. I tossed up the tossed up the signal to Schmeckle in case he can. Just in case this fucking guy can't. Because it seems like it seems like it may be a long road for him. Uh gonna be honest with you, dudes. Uh the barrier for entry to be a liberalist is mm -hmm. pretty fucking low. Well, um, what is it? it? Tell us the be, barrier to entry. It may be possible that he's just not smart enough to operate the link. <laughs> oh, harmful. Oh, God. Damn. Aww. It, we, we, we aren't exactly very selective. Apparently not, because Trent is having... He first had to... He had to turn his computer on and then Discord the wrong software, or download the wrong software to get <laughs> Discord to come onto a fucking YouTube Google Hangout. I don't... How does that work? Uh, people are uh, it, it, it could also be that um, after Kraut, you know, had his little bitch uh, run away with his tail. Oh, they his lost. Things, they uh, lost their brain trust when Kraut took off. Is that what you're gonna tell me? No, the ownership was transferred to B. <laughs> oh, B Trent, Trent, you're killing me here. I, you could operate fucking YouTube when you're given money to make super chats, but for some reason you can't click that link. It's a little sad. This is not looking good for liberalists right now. No, it's not. It's it's a disaster. Schmeckle can make it to a hangout. God, is the stepfather giving him instructions? Like, does he have to go through a capo before he comes on here? Like, how does this work? He will be. He will be being drip-fed things to say. Um, little ad hominems to completely divert away from the point. He'll be, uh, he'll be fully prepared before he gets on. Oh, maybe we're getting rused. Maybe Trent is trolling us, but... I don't know. Eighty bucks to troll? Shit. Well, he's paid. He's paid you eighty dollars to to get on here. In super chats, he sent out like eight or oh, nine messages know. from five to ten bucks. So I, that's why I thought he really wanted to come on because he kept bringing it up. What was he saying? Should we address some of his points? If we uh, he said he was straw manning Sargon that all his uh, platforms and policies are in his videos um, and a bunch of other stuff along that line. But like, yeah, like we say, all of these policies and platforms are all truisms. There's nothing different. There's nothing outside of the, the box that he's already um, established. There's no. He's not going to like. If he's not going to acknowledge actual identity and um, race for that matter, then w what's there to talk about? I I don't know. I, I let the boy show up and make his uh, make his appeal, but I don't know where he is. It's too many dicks. Okay, this is. <laughs> God damn. Too, too many oh. cocks for Worski to handle. Oh my god. <laughs> Ruined. Um, there's poems? There's literally a poem. Wow! What the f- Is Why there a poem you... about Tranny Dick? Read it no, for us. No, 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 this is... Someone just wrote... I'm not reading this, Ricardo. Oh my god. I'm not Send reading it to this. me and I'll read it, because we need to kill time. I, I, I just deleted- No, no, it's not even good. It's not even- It's just dumb. Oh my god. No, don't send me a like I don't is is like I open an email, I delete it, I go back to the whole and then there's like four more. Yeah, but I wanted to you've you've ruined me because I wanted to hear that poem. Was it something along the lines of roses are red, violets are blue, no. I'll put a tranny dick deep inside you? No, no, it wasn't. Not no. Before. I'm not at a, different, <laughs> at a different tempo, did it? I'm, I'm, and by the way, if you're sending me paste bin or like links, I'm not clicking anything. Someone, someone literally is it says as requested, and this person attached about fifty gifs or gifs, however you fucking say it, of just yes. trannies coming. Oh, Trent, I'm here. Douchemackle. He says douchemackle. Okay, bye, Trent. You fucking retard. Wait, he's what? Fucking... So he's dodging out? Yeah, Trent is a fucking pussy. Oh, oh that's damn. that's some gay shit after making everybody wait 15 minutes Pace. to not come. Oh, there's been coming. <laughs> oh, there's been plenty of that. All over my fucking email. Link isn't working. Okay, I'm going to try it one more time. Message. By the way, whoever sent me the fucking picture of just a row of trans people fucking them in the ass like a fucking... Just, just stop it, guys. I didn't know. It was funny for like three minutes. Now, uh, Andy, are you sure this isn't your fault for scaring him off? You didn't say the the you didn't say the name Mike Enoch anywhere in that email to make him run, did you? 
No, no. Because I hear if you tell a liberalist, if you say Enoch in front of one of them, they will run away at full speed. <laughs> okay, when, I, when I name-dropped Spencer and uh, Enoch, they, they Sargon himself, very definite. His eyes widened, there was a little tremor starting to appear. He did not want to engage. <laughs> he ducked under the table like it was a nuke drill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess we're are we getting a liberalist on then, or is there none showing I up? I sent him one more link. I'll see what he, he responds to. And he's he said, "Get Schmeckel. Who the is Schmeckel from the the cunt stream? Okay, yeah, yeah. Him and failure hate each other. Uh, is Schmeckel coming on? I don't even know if he's up. Is he? He said he would be on. Or he would be oh. around at this time, if he, and he would show up if failure would ha would go against him, and it's that time. So we we'd had a, we had a fight lined up if everything fell through. Oh fucking uh, King Carl sent me a poem. Oh that's that's good. Read it for us. I'm sure it's great. Roses are red, niggers are black. Viva la raza, wetbacks attack. Beautiful. You gonna pin that on your wall? Print it out? Put it's it in pinned. a little frame? Yeah. Oh, someone sent me The End of Times by Alexander Gordon Jahans. <laughs> you are so a lucky Jahans man, writes, Andy. <laughs> Jahans writes fan fiction. Um, oh, is it? <laughs> which is about, it's it's all about um, him eating and cannibalizing women, uh, shrinking them, wanting to dominate them sexually. And it's all down because he... So Jahans was born with a tic-tac penis that never grew. Oh. And because of his small genitals that he has to over-gratify uh, in order to... It's the ultimate overcompensation. And it's a, it's a horrible thing to realize that people like this exist in our society and haven't been arrested. Um, but that's Alexander Gordon Jahans. Ah. Uh, well, Trent wrote another email. Instead of what, he say, what, what did he say this time? Enoch's a bitch. Huh. Did he, he pay you for that one? Um, no, the, the, uh, this email. Ooh, someone sent me a really creepy. Wow, that's Nathaniel. Oh, that's a that's a strange one. <laughs> that's a that's a really strange one. Yo, <laughs> you're not sharing the uh, the the thing, are you? Sharing what thing? The no, uh, Tonka, you aren't sharing the windows, are you? No. Okay, unshare them for a second. Let me show you this. This is really creepy. Uh, here we go. Look at this one, Andy. I don't want to look at Tranny Dick. Yeah, no, it's what, not Tranny. What is look, with you, Andy? Look, look, look at this. What is that? <laughs> it's a dog. Wait, wait a minute. Why would he need to hide the window for that? What is this? I don't know if it would be. It's what? a hot dog. It's a slutty hot dog. <laughs> so <laughs> weird, Andy. Do you want me to open up the other emails and show you what's, what's no, happening? No, we don't. Hang on, hang on. Yeah. Let me at least show you. Let me at least show you no. the fucking yeah. what my emails look like right now. We're gonna Watch. failure the shit out of you. What? I just don't share anything. Watch this. No, nobody, nobody's sharing. <laughs> Fucking hell! Oh, I like the one that says "definitely not a trap pick." You can trust <laughs> that one. Really? You can trust the "definitely yeah. not a tranny pick." It was in the middle there somewhere. Okay. Not tranny porn. Oh, it's not. All right. Let's see what else we got here. An important topic. Okay, it's b b bronies. <laughs> bronies. <laughs> tranny bronies, bro. <laughs> okay. Only white trannies for trendy. Okay, there it is, dicks. All right. I like, you. you know, Andy, the, the thing that amazes me the most is you don't, like, it gives you a preview thumbnail, but you click the full picture, even well, though you know what it's you going to be. Go on to it. Yeah, you click the whole thing. I'm, I'm, I'm showing you. <laughs> I'm I will you say, Andy, a really I will say, in the chat, people were saying, as you were carrying on with this, people were saying that's a, that's a tranny. You know, that you need to stop. I was saying you need to stop, and you just kept going. You just kept going on with it. You were like, oh, I would. Oh, I would more my than... God. Okay, okay, I don't want to watch cows sucking okay, dick. Come on. Yeah, what are you yeah. Uh, that's the, the, well, you want to make sure it has a dick, right? Enough. The, the dick is far too white for it to be a liberalist picture. Mm. <laughs> you can tell from the pixels, yeah. 
I also am impressed by the fact you have 2,100 emails and you don't really read any of them. <laughs> it's, it's a nice thing to see, too. It depends no, on no, I do. I do. The, these are all sent in the last 30 minutes, dude. You got 2,000 emails in 30 minutes. Well, there's... Oh, no, no. Um... <sighs> no, I do check all, all the emails. I have Chris check them, too. <laughs> I have Chris do it. Boy, he's going to hate his oh, job today. We have agents <laughs> for that. Oh, yes. L Lauren Southern got banned for life from the UK. Yeah, they were detained. Or, well, not detained. Well, yeah, they were detained and then told they weren't permitted entrance into the UK. No, no. Uh, that, from... that was Brittany Pettibone. No, and... no, that was both of them. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Pettibone and Southern were both uh, told they couldn't enter the UK. From, what is it, Ludden or whatever the fuck it is? Their city council or some shit because they were pan or handing out pamphlets that were anti-Islamic or some crap like that. Okay. Luden, Ludden, I don't fucking know. I don't know these bong names. I think it was uh, Pettibone and Selna, wasn't it? I didn't know about Southern. Well, yeah, Southern had stuff up, too, where she's saying she was denied entry. But uh, Pettibone was, and then she, she had told them she was coming to visit her boyfriend or something. Uh, but they had problems with him because he was part of an identitarian movement. I, I don't know. Yeah, it's most weird. Yeah. Nothing's okay. normal with these people. Just <laughs> people saying UK it. police on Thought Patrol. Thought <laughs> That's Patrol. harsh chat. <laughs> harsh. <laughs> Failure. Has Schmeckle hit you up? Are you alive, Failure? Did you really die? Not. He, no, I'm still alive. Okay. Did Schmeckle hit you up? Because nope. it is the time he said he's available. We're 15 minutes past that time. Mm -hmm. We're well into his could be available time now. I won't message him, but I'll message Samaj. Um, All right. Well, I, I gotta, uh, I gotta jump. But uh, Tonka failure. If you can set up the Esme thing, like I said, if whenever they're willing to do it, I will show up with bells on. They can set the ground rules. I don't give a shit. He can bring a hundred people. I don't care. Oh, and oh, and, yeah. and medically, don't miss Thursday. Oh well, no, I'm definitely line. watching Thursday. I want to see some good shot on the street. That's gonna be entertaining. I'll tweet it good out. Good luck. Where the, the lion? Back, Andy. The lion guy responded. By the way. Oh, what did he say? Uh, he said, give me one second, pull up the message. Uh, he said, nah, I re I'd rather read a textbook on biology uh, and focus Dean on moving here. closer to, what? Dean Esme is here. Is Dean Where? in the chat? If Dean's in the chat, bring him on in. He can bring all the gay furry MRAs with him he likes. I'm, I'm up for it. Yeah, uh, I'm, you, you... I'm going to order some food. Yeah, no, no ground rules right. for you there, dude. It's... You versus Jim. Uh, Jim has said it's however, however you want to do it. Bring whoever you want against him. I'm just here. We're just here. Everybody will mute. This is between you two uh, lads. Yeah, Dean, send an email to andyworski at gmail.com. Please is don't. That Dean? Please don't. Who do, who do we got here? What up? Hello? This is Trent. You finally figured out how to work that shit. How drunk are you? Finally. Oh, I wish. Holy I was. shit, Trent. We thought you were yeah. dead. We we're going to send a Trent is exactly how I'd expect he'd look. So, Trent, you want to you want to hit us up with the uh, with the policies and platforms of the Liberalist Party aside from black bulls as Tim was explaining? I, I, I should explain. Um, this this man has only paid for a bronze level uh, Liberalist membership. Oh. Uh, he is not an authority. Oh, Trent, Trent, are you there? there? Did he die? He's frozen. He's frozen. Why wouldn't he? Trent. Trent. Ah, oh, boy. Well, I got my hope. My hopes got up there. <laughs> I thought we were having something, and then, phone and then it died. I, is he doing it on his phone? Yeah. That's probably why. By the way, I think the Dean is or fake Dean in the chat. Is oh, it Red Pill Religion? That should be his username, yeah, and it, it would go to uh, his Red Pill Religion. Yeah, and it would go to Dean Esme's YouTube channel. I mean, you can yeah, there, there's 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 nothing in the channel that I went to. Okay, yeah, then then it's a fake Dean. We've been rused. I might stick around for a minute though for Trent if he can work his technical shit out. How'd you get rused by that? It has a fucking moon and star for its profile picture. Well, oh, Dean that, is now Trent's, a Muslim. I don't know who Trent's the fuck thumb is. just appeared. I think he's trying to cover <laughs> up his camera. Oh, fucking really? Trent's, Trent's got his thumb over his camera. He's trying to cover it up. Um, could I, could I ask? Hey, hey, look, I understand the sending the emails 
is funny, but um, <laughs> when I get an email that says your child has created a Disney account for Club Penguin Island. <laughs> <laughs> My email address. I don't really appreciate it. Uh, oh, it's just beginning, Andy. Enjoy oh, the ride. Oh, Today's gonna oh, be fun. Oh, my username. Uh, can we get a little uh, some bets in on what my username is? Is it Trandy Worski? Yes, it is. <laughs> How did you? It's amazing. It's your, your child's account. <laughs> oh boy. You know, I'm I'm going to head off. I've had enough of this tranny cock and Sargon talk. Uh, it's been fun. <laughs> I've enjoyed being on. Uh, yeah, it's good to have you on, man. I'll just quickly just sort of give a shout out to my channel. It's Godwinson. Uh, I cover lots of things. Uh, the message I try to carry is uh, Neats must rise up and protect what's um, slowly sinking into the ground. So if you want to save Western civilization, if subscribe to Godwinson. you say something over in the chat real quick, I'll, I'll throw a wrench on you and you can spam the shit out of your channel. It's like three thousand. Uh, no, I'll, I'll just give the shout out. But uh, you know, enjoy enjoy whatever's going to happen here. It's been uh, it's been a lot. Yeah, All right. it see you, guys. Peace, dude. All right. My chaps. Bye. Trent, did you get did you get it working? I got it back. Godwinson was oh, okay. Okay. I didn't hit that guy. I'm gonna order pizza, bye, guys. Every, everybody's ditching now, but I'm still here. Trent. No, I'm here. So you gonna here. you you gonna tell us about the liberalist platform? What do we get wrong? Well, for one thing. I'm not a liberalist. For another thing, I hear Sargon, and I understand what he's saying. But the thing is, you got to understand, they don't have freedom of speech in England, where he lives, like we do here in the U.S. So when he says freedom of speech, he's talking about kind of sort of like what we have here. Yeah, but is that solely unique to the liberalist? And then secondly, my follow-up no, 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 to that no. would be... That's the thing also. In his videos, he also talks about how there are too many parties going on and how he wants to sort of, like, unite the parties together... By creating a new fucking political party? <laughs> I know, it sounds different. Watch the fucking videos, man! If you're so hard up on learning about... I'm not going to watch fucking so four hours of Sargon talking about his online LARPs. Like, if freedom of speech sounds good, but that, again, how does that work out into changing the law? What What is he proposing for freedom of speech? Is he just going to nick the U.S. Constitution? What? How is he implementing that? What is the goal? Well, if you would watch his fucking videos, you'd see that he understands that it's still in the early stages. And like any grassroots movement, you got to start off slow. Tell me what alt-right grassroots, root, grassroots movement is starting right now. Can anybody name it? Isn't that his criticism, though, Trent? Isn't that his criticism of the alt-right is they don't have any solid plan? So when he says, I'm just starting out, we're just meeting and doing stuff, that's the same shit he criticizes the alt-right for. Yeah, and then you guys criticize him for that. What's the fucking deal? There's What's the deal with criticizing with his own criticism? <laughs> I, I think that's deal pretty apparent. <laughs> The fucking deal is... I thought you were supposed to be smart here, Jim. Use that brain, brother. If How is if that not calling out... How is movement. not bringing up his criticism and applying it to him? How does that not work? He's criticizing the alt-right, saying they have no plan. He has no plan. Of course, why wouldn't you, bro why wouldn't you point to that and laugh? Because right now, all he's doing is setting out a... A core values, from what I remember. And his saying. core values, though, are his core values are extremely vague. They're no different than what any fucking college age because libertarian he wants would to tell do the you. Fucking policies later. That's why. So he what am I following? Oh, Trent, now, what would you be following him for? Value later. Yeah, but, but okay, Trent, what would you be following him for if he has no set policies? If he's going to work that all out later, the only reason you'd be attracted to this is because you like Sargon of Akkad's videos. He's not offering you anything substantial. Because I can wait and see what he comes up with. Because he's still thinking about it right now, and he's still doing all of this. He's planning out his fucking uh, live events. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, so yeah that's a good point. You know, you know, you know who else was coming up with a plan? Live events, Hitler. It takes money to do, <laughs> isn't it? Isn't don't you need money to do live events? So he, he doesn't makes, have he, Wait, wait, wait. Sargon makes $8,000 from Patreon and Maker combined. And then probably another five... How much do you think a live to, event is, Jim? And probably, probably between how five to six thousand from is, Super Chats. How, do you think a, how much do you think a live Trent, event what are you, is? Trent, what are you arguing? That he needs more money for his vague plans no, he hasn't hammered out? I'm saying... What? What are you no, arguing I'm, with? 
Uh, say say what you're okay. Tell me what you're trying to say because I guess I'm confused as to what the point is about his financial situation. I'm asking you, how much do you think a live event is, Jim? Well, maybe if you planned your live events at some place other than an upscale bar in the middle of London or wherever the fuck it was, it wouldn't be so goddamn much money. Do you think that's all he's going to do? It's the first thing he did. Trent, it's the first thing he did. Trent, it's the first thing he did. He could have gone to a fucking so? campground. He could have gone so to a what? he could have gone to a local restaurant. He went to the four thousand dollar upscale bar. It's not my fault he can't plan out a cheap event. Why can't he do that? And what does getting I, drunk in a fucking upscale bar have to do with fucking furthering no, your no 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 Trent? Plan? I'm, I'm Why not can't arguing. Why an upscale bar to have a celebration about whatever you want to have for? Why Trent, is he celebrating? Wait, 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 Trent. It feels like we're getting away from the argument here. We are. I don't, I, I don't even know what you're arguing about. What, 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 what is your initial is, argument? Is you guys don't watch his fucking videos. He lays everything out in his videos. Trent, when, you just said he was it, coming up with policy. He video. had no policy. Trent, you said he had no policy. Policies. You were waiting to see how it played out. He has no policies at this moment. That's so then the what do I want to watch a video explaining that he has no policy for? Why would I be interested in listening to somebody not give a detailed plan on shit? I'm not! Why do you want to be interested in something you're, that... I, I don't get it, man. Well, Trent, you're coming on to, to bring this up. You're saying we're strawmanning him, and you just agreed yeah. he has no fucking set policies. Okay, 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 okay. yeah. Okay, you, you reminded me now. What's that dude's name that was talking Who? about being at the bar? What's his name? God, Godwinson? Godwinson. Yeah. Hey, Godwinson. You there? No, he's not he here anymore. anymore. He left? He had yeah. Time. Okay, give me a brief overview of what he was saying when he was talking about how uh, Sargon was in the bar. He said there were some trannies there. He said one woman said she was lonely. Um, he lonely. said that... No, no, no. A... He started talking to the people about the policies, asking them what, why they're there. Yeah, one woman said she has no friends. And that she went because she was lonely. <laughs> well, see, I can't argue what... If he's not there, I can't argue. My, my thing was with him. Well, Trent, you spent 30 minutes trying to work a YouTube link. It can't really throw that on Godwinson for not I'm, sticking I'm, around. I'm not. I'm not. I, had technical, I had technical difficulties. I won't throw that on him. Okay, fair enough. Well, is there anything else you wanted to discuss? I guess Godwinson's not here. What was your point going to be anyway, I guess? Oh, well, all right, fine. I'll get to my point. This is a grassroots movement. If you want to know what Sargon's saying, watch his videos. What questions do you have about liberalists? But you want to know my questions about the liberalist movement? Yeah, I do. Tell me about your questions. Oh, okay. What are your policies? Uh, Cuckoldry and international. Well, uh, uh, oh yeah, that's real. That's real original, brother. Try again. Sorry. Um, <laughs> You're only a bronze level liberalist, dude. I played for the bronze. Okay. What Tonka? He, well, he said he said bronze level liberal. This so uh, the weird tears. Um. <sighs> Right, is whatever. that real? Is there bronze level liberalism? <laughs> no, Tucker. Okay. I don't fucking know. I'm not a liberalist. <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> oh, but you asked me what my questions are. I, I told yeah. you. I t what are your policies? And you're telling me he has none. So I guess I have no interest in hearing anything else. Moment, no policies. That doesn't mean he can't have any in the future. Well, He's who waits with bated breath for a YouTuber to come up with policies two years later? I'm not going to join some here. club. I'm not going to join some club by some guy who's literally saying, I don't then know what don't. I'm going to do. You do what I, you do and troll the fuck out of people hidden behind your goddamn computer. Oh, Off Trent. Off in your fucking Wisconsin oh. uh, field somewhere. <laughs> okay, well, Trent, why are you defending this if you're not one of them? Well, because I'm getting sick and tired of hearing people, you know, straw man Sargon about bullshit that he's not even saying. He's not even doing and that if I, if I guy him, if I was seeing... totally fucking strawmanning him because he had his ass in the air over Sargon totally destroyed uh, Trent, so Trent, Trent, I like the way you oh, waited for me to leave before you started speaking, Trent. Oh. And I love the way you're trying to smear me as a liar. How am I strawmanning Sargon when I record okay. almost everything? Tell me again about your... Do a brief overview about your uh, interaction with Sargon. So I spoke to Sargon, didn't I? And you can watch it, didn't I? And I spoke to him about the rights of white people and whether they need to exist. And Sargon said that he didn't recognize white people, didn't he? 
Cool. I can see. I can see. You've I don't know. I haven't watched the video. I'll watch the you video. You actually haven't watched, watched the video. So how? So how can you call me a liar? It was. You have no idea, do you? That I called you a liar. At try going back a few uh, sentences in the when you were walking through the bar, talking to people, and giving right. your opinion yes. about why people were there. Yes. So why do you think people were there, my friend? I don't. I assume you don't know. To okay, fantastic. Something. That's exactly what I wanted to know as well. So I was there from a position of not knowing, and I spoke to people, and they said they were simply there for Sargon. Okay. Now, what were your opinions about why people were there? My uh, opinions were that Sargon it was a very, very sad, desperate attempt to go and touch um, their divine god Sargon. That was why they were there, wasn't it? I'm sorry. Try that again. Say it again. Hello? Are you seriously a liberalist? Do you define yourself as a liberalist, no. my friend? I told you I'm not a liberalist. I said, so why are you here? What Sargon is saying. I think he what is Sargon saying? saying? Can you be the Sargon whisperer for us, please? Say. Can you be the Sargon whisperer for us, then, and let us all know? Enlighten us. He, he looks like Well, I can only tell you what I know from his videos. And so his what videos, is that? Basically... Big what bad he wants SBW. To do is, oh no! Is bring uh, freedom of speech to England. Freedom of speech, yes. Oh, who doesn't want freedom of speech? Who doesn't I don't want know. freedom of speech? Apparently, you don't. So, how does that differ from what's in at the moment? Why do we need Sargon and V to help us uh, regain freedom of speech? I don't understand. Somebody has to fight against the SJW. Somebody, everyone, everyone wants the show freedom of speech. In your fucking country, dude. Everyone wants freedom of speech. Right, and the and the SJWs are running the show in your fucking. Country. The SJWs are running the show, aren't they? Yeah. Do you not think that everyone looks at SJWs, even normies on the street, and goes, fuck me, that's that's a bridge too far. Do you not think they, that Sargon's purpose has been fulfilled at this point? Well, maybe uh, he wants to do something along the lines of, like, help that process. No, maybe oh. maybe Sargon. Maybe Sargon wants to help his own bank account because he realizes oh, that YouTube... Like, you know how much he, he thinks in his mind, like, I know, dude. Come on. You really well, think he, that's he, he tries to know everyone else. He tries to know everyone else better than they know themselves. So it's about time we started fucking looking at him and trying to figure out what he's thinking. You're talking about the Spencer uh, fucking debate, dude? Because I heard No, I'm talking about, about the Spencer fact that Sargon's, Sargon's platform on YouTube and on the internet is a declining um, entity at this point. He's not going to be earning the money that he used to earn, especially okay, as fine. more and more people and... poke holes at him. So he has to go Therefore, out Sargon's trying to diversify by running what? these IRL. Well, Sargon's trying to diversify by running these IRL events, isn't he? Yeah. Yes. Thank you. So, what do you oh, think wait. the purpose of that is? Uh, I would suppose, like every other grassroots movement, to get the word out there, spread the word, uh, raise money, uh, line, do line his pockets to, to create more hype about the liberalist movement um that's what i suppose what create suppose, more hype dude? about okay well it's to create more hype about sargon It's to give him a bigger ego than he already has now if you can imagine it it's to make him much more uh, well look, it's <laughs> to keep him in his video games in trap pornography isn't it come on let's get down to the real brass tacks what's your fucking beef with sargon dude it sounds like he shined you on so i'll tell you my, so okay I'll, really I'll tell you my beef with sargon yeah, i'll tell you my beef with sargon lots of people who watch sargon they came into it thinking, oh, this guy's got a point. He's looking at people like these SJWs, and he's looking at society, and he's looking at Western civilization and going, you know, how does it take? All, look at all of these problems. You've got a lo really lovely kitchen there, by the way. Um, how, what are all of these problems? And then you realize that he's offering nothing in solution for this, bar from this bizarre uh, truism that speech must be protected. How long did it take for the SJWs? Let me finish my answer, please. Thank of, you like, very country, much. I know in my country, let me it's finish. about 30 years. Go ahead. Yeah, let me finish. Um, Sargon's gatekeeping. He's holding this audience back. And the more they watch Sargon, the more they become these weird liberalists who've never grown up, who've never formed a proper ideological standpoint. When you realize that Sargon himself is, is essentially mundane Matt, Review Tech USA, this sort of empty bugman person I got who's no trying to say... Matt. Are you a character? Are you a serious person? Or are you a character? I'm being fucking you playing serious, a part? dude. Are you I'm playing a part? I'm being fucking serious. Are you playing no, a part? No, I'm being fucking serious. I'm just going by the videos I've watched from what he said on his videos. 
it's fucking, it's just so fucking clear cut, dude. If you want to know what he's about, watch his fucking video. I know exactly what he's about, and I don't need to know any more, really, do I? Yeah, and you don't watch his videos, do you? So, so oh, can oh, you oh, tell oh, me oh. how many... Oh, look, come on, I've seen all of his videos. I've seen... Like, you watch one, it's like Groundhog Day. It's Sargon Day. It's oh, let's much. let's play hey, ten seconds and pause it, and you then and then carry on criticizing the blue-haired feminist. Your fucking dick going. Oh, it's Sargon. Oh, it's Sargon. <laughs> that's exactly how. You, that's exactly what Come you on. do, though, isn't it? Is it where do you stand bad? politically? Where, huh? where do you stand politically without defining yourself in relation to Sargon? Without defining myself with relation to Sargon, I honestly don't hold a political position. Of course, I, yes. No, you don't care. Not, nothing matters to you. But until it encroaches your porn and video games, that's when you'll step into the fray, isn't it? Porn and video games. Oh, yeah, that's what you want porn. to safeguard. Is I, it? I can tell that by looking at you. I just got my first uh, official Xbox this year. I have well done. Had a Congratulations. Video game since 1995, bitch. Congratulations. Fuck you. Anyway, what what so, what do you do with your life? Do you work, or do you just watch Sargon videos? I do have a job, and and you use that money to spend on Sargon's Patreon and giving money. I don't pay to shit these to Sargon. I don't calling watch people liars. Videos. How am I, I a liar? Can you justify videos. that? Oh, look at you, Mister Assumptions. How Mr. am I a liar? You were you were paying good money to call me a liar in the stream. You wanted to be on I here. I did. I did. Come on then. Uh, okay. mm, come on. Hey, 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 you two. Knock it off. Hold on a second. Uh, is, this, is this your house, or have you invaded someone's house? Oh my goodness. This is my house that I bought. I, suge look, I suggest you get off the stream. Look, I, su I, look, I suggest you get off the stream. Again, just, just... some assuming bullshit. Right, let me, let me just give you a, a suggestion. Get off the I stream, parent your children, you stop watching Sargon oh, videos. Toity, toity, I'm a fucking crumpet. Look at me. I'm a fucking know-it-all crumpet that makes assumptions about people I don't even know. Your I kids are screaming because they've clearly seen this autistic side of you before, haven't like they? One they know what's coming, video. don't they? How many of his fucking videos have you watched? Just, just turn off the stream. Go, videos, look, look, mate, dude. my friend. Turn off the stream. Parent your children. Stop donating to these weird e celebs. Yeah, get a fucking life and watch a video so you know what you're fucking talking about. Yes, get a about, life dude. and sit on my ass and watch Sargon videos. Thank you. Fuck my fucking dick, bitch. You do what you shouldn't you swear in front of your children. You it's not right. You are not land. well, and you are causing I, other people hey, to be hey, not hey. well. Do you support Corbin? Are you a little no. fucking Corbin fucking commie puppet? Are you? No. What are you? I voted for Trump, bitch. I thought you said you weren't politically orientated. Uh, officially, no. But I, I have. Sure, I, I think if you voted sides. for Trump, that makes you officially politically orientated, shouldn't, shouldn't it? No, I've been. I've been Personally, look, Trump I'm very uncomfortable arguing with you while your children are right next to you. I'm not comfortable Trump with that. Be president since 2001. I'm personally, I'm very uncomfortable arguing with you while your children are present, screaming. All right, I gotta go. I, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <You enjoy yourself. laughs> what did they walk into? <laughs> what did Andy, you, you missed the fun. Oh boy, I was, I had to make some coffee, ate a little bit, ordered pizza. What happened? What happened? You, you missed the good shit. Real quick. Uh, Trent showed up, and then Godwinson came back in, and they had a nice little discussion. And then uh, Trent is uh, left us. Oh boy, did that go well? Yeah, there are some liberalists who want to have a go at Jim. They say that they're from the official liberalist Discord, and are, are these the official ones? Oh, I. Now, do you have a black light so you can check for the the uh, black semen around their lips so we know they're actually official? Just oh, will that show up there? Well, they were they were told to hit up the failure accomplished. The hit up fail. I guess. I mean, I was going to take off, but it got entertaining again. So I'll stick around for a while. Somebody called the liberalist DM me, but uh, they only got four followers. Oh, I don't care how many followers they have. Are they actually a liberalist? Yeah, well, the it says at real liberalist on the Twitter. So all right, well, let's take a bet on if it's fake Ross or not. And oh god, I didn't even think of that. I bet you it is. I bet you it's fake Ross showed back up. All right, Max Sands oh. just can't quit.
We'll know if it's him if he immediately comes in and says, you guys are faggots. The alt right's horrible. Also, somebody was saying Count Dankula may have wanted in. Uh, Dankula, you got just hit up failure, you can come through. I don't, I, I can't tell. The liberals are too scared to debate you? Or talk to you? Not really a debate, as it is just talk, but do you think they're scared? Are you talking about Trent? All of well, them. Like, well, no, like I was talking with Trent. He was like, um, you're not watching the videos. You don't know what his policies are. And so I said, well, what are his policies? And he said, well, he hasn't come up with them yet. Okay, well, <laughs> why would I follow him? I think we established that, that Trent wasn't, wasn't all there. His marbles weren't all in his possession, I don't think. I think he was a few sandwiches short of a picnic. He wasn't... Well, he wasn't I, I got lost in the conversation. He started bringing up finances, and I don't, I don't know why. He was like, oh, you know, how much do you think it costs to run an event? I, I don't know why he's fucking bringing that up, but... Well, I know exactly what Sargon spent. Sargon spent uh, 4500 hiring out the venue. Out the venue at the B-Bar place? That's right. That's correct. Yeah, that's but why did why did Trent bring it up though? That's what I'm, I like. I tried to follow his logic, but like I don't know why he was bringing up the sudden cost of the venue. He clearly was a bit thick. I think he was clearly a bit stupid. Uh, maybe he's trolling. I don't know. Kids screaming in the background. It's not right. It's not right. You shouldn't be you shouldn't be shouting at people, and and donating to Sargon with his kids there, you know, screaming and crying. No, we got somebody else jumping. Now, is this actually Count Dankula, or has fake Ross upped his game a little? No, no, it's really neat. So oh, who's okay. Count Dankula? The guy that just joined. Oh, I can... Okay. Are you the fellow that was at Sargon's This Week in Stupid event live? Did you speak there? Yeah, I was, yeah. <laughs> what was that like? Can you, can, you, um, can you tell us the story of that? Nothing. I just went up on stage and made a few jokes, and it was a good laugh. Did you know that you were about to launch Sargon's political campaign? Uh, no, liberalists didn't really exist at that point. But it was the fact is, earlier, uh, a few of the comments you made where you said uh, free speech isn't under attack and everyone wants free speech. Is that, are you talking that to me? Are you, to, talking to, are you talking to me or Godwinson? Well, well, the thing is, I think, I think it was Godwinson that said that I was... Yeah, I was yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I'll clarify that. Uh, okay. Sargon's free speech isn't under attack because he's not going to be saying anything that um, you know is is in any way controversial to uh, to anyone outside of his little bubble. Um, I right, think actually one, one of these videos think, was just I recently gulagged by YouTube. Person, for, yeah, no, personally, said. personally, my friend, I think actual free speech is very definitely under attack. Free speech, which actually argues for the case of white people, not just in Europe but in America also, that's very definitely under attack. The fact that people were detained from doing a speech or a rally or whatever in London on Sunday, says it all. But Sargon's not going to defend these people, not really. He doesn't want to identify identify with any sort of identitarian. He's more than happy to uh, claim that his free speech is under attack when you know he throws 20 quid to some Antifa LARPers and says, can you storm the stage to make it look like I'm you know, a, a virtuous individual? All right, and has that, has that been proven that it was all staged, yeah? Well, I'm joking, my friend, but uh, yeah, I wouldn't yeah. be surprised. Would you be surprised? Yeah. I would actually be very surprised, yeah, because uh, I know him personally, and I don't believe that that's in his nature in any way. Also, also the fact that one of the security guards got smashed over the head with a fucking blunt object and ended up spending the night in the hospital. I mean, god damn, those are some those are some good method actors to the fact why, that they were several why, years in prison. You know, why were they so why were they so feeble then when they got to their main <laughs> uh, main fascist that they were trying to storm their alt right spokesman? Why why were they so feeble when they got to him, but they were attacking? Ordinary members of the public. Well, I'm not. I'm not saying that. Look, I'm well, there wasn't cameras right. in the front lobby. Like when they when they ran into the front, like it was when they ran into the main room. That's when the masks came up for everyone. You even see them doing it when they realised everyone was filming. No, person. Look, personally, I'm not saying that Sargon staged the event, but I'm just saying that why were they so feeble when they got to Sargon? Had they run out of energy? Because they know everyone was filming. They know everyone was filming. They're they're more than happy to do shit when they think that no one's watching and they're not being filmed. Because, I mean, we've got footage of that as well. When they realise that they're on camera, they fucking back off. Because, you know, even though their face isn't covered and shit like that, like, they don't want to go to prison for several years, which has mm. happened to a good few Antifa members. That's right, that's right. I actually know the fellow that punched the uh, the Antifa guy for Sargon. Uh, I'm aware of him. But, uh, Count, you're, a, you're an old friend of Sargon, then, I take it. You, you sort of know him personally, you know him quite well. Well, 
To an extent, yeah. I'm not the yeah. father to any of his kids and we don't play five or six no, every Tuesday. No, but, no. Yeah. but I'm not trying to paint you as that. I just want to know what your opinions are on liberalism. Do you not think he's going down on a wing and a prayer here to try and bolster his own ego? Or do you genuinely want him to be... Uh, well, it's, it's, the, it's the fact is, the, the fact is, if anyone is actually trying to bring about any positive change, everyone seems to keep going after the cat. Oh, it's his ego. Oh, he's doing it for money. Oh, he's doing it for this. He's doing it for that. I think those reasons are fucking irrelevant as long as the overall positive message gets across. Because I mean, it's, 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 argue... it's, it's literally the definition of an ad hominem attacking the person and not the and not right, the message but, okay. they're trying to put across. Okay, then count. But then we argue like, what is he actually arguing for? What's different from the status quo? Freedom of speech, because any time, like, the fact is, there's obviously speech. restrictions on freedom of speech, like, just like you said yourself, but you, I think that you might obviously be of the opinion that if you give the government 1% of control over everything, over anything, they will do everything they can to fucking increase that to 100%, which is something that we've seen constantly, like, they're constantly trying to bring in, even in my own country, right now, there are parties that are actually trying to get this really outdated uh, law regarding free speech repealed, but the dominant parties are trying their hardest to keep it in, even though it's extremely outdated. Like, that's the, there are things like that, and it's the fact is as well as, see, if you allow them to encroach a little bit, they'll take the entire fucking thing. That's what governments do. So, I mean, so is Sargon's, Sargon's freedom of speech then will extend to absolutely everyone in society, is that right? This is the thing not, this is, well, yes. Yes, that's what it But do you not recognise... So, so I, I'm not trying to get you in a gotcha, but do you not recognise when you allow, like, freedom of speech, freedom of religion to everyone, that you open yourself up to being completely assimilated by that? So, for example, if we allow uh, religious expression of Islam in its purest form, then their freedom of speech allows them to be able to destroy any sort of Christian thought, any sort of non-infidel uh, or pro-infidel uh, institution, well, so they try... You, 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 know the, you do know that the free speech clause is you have freedom up until you try and infringe on someone else's freedom. If someone wants where, to espouse... Yeah, but, if, no, but if someone where, wants to state their views, then that's absolutely fine. If you try and impose your views on other people, that's you infringing on someone else's liberty. And, and this is the status quo, isn't it? Because the status quo advocates for hate speech. You know, yeah. th there, is, there is freedom of expression until you harm someone or call for violence. So how is Sargon arguing for anything different than, than just what's in place at the moment? I really don't understand. We, no, it's just the same as what I said earlier. If so, basically, if you, as soon as you give the government 1% of control over something, they will try their hardest to fucking extend that. Like, that's what we see with you, Scotland. You, the, law, the law I was talking about earlier, the one that they're trying to repeal is the Offensive Behaviour at Football Act. One of, the char one of the laws that I'm being charged under. And one thing that is a little, a little bit exclusive to Scotland is we had a lot of sectarian violence, especially when it came to football, Catholics versus Protestants, and that was the status quo for decades. It's starting to die down a little bit to the point where the law's not really necessary anymore. But see, as soon as all this SJW bullshit started coming in, they have expanded the law to cover even more and more things. So the fact is, we don't want new laws getting made. We don't want these laws getting expanded, because when these laws start to get expanded, that's when you see people getting detained and turned around at the airport. Like, I don't, I don't agree with Brittany Pettibones or Selner's politics, but I came out and defended them. Because but of the, the thing is, Sargon didn't, did he? Sargon didn't go out and defend them because they're identitarian. It's because, it's, a, it's because it is absolute immediate association. Like, see, just because I did that, I'm not right-wing, I'm not conservative, and I've had people screeching racist at me the whole fucking day, man. Like, you can even go into my Twitter replies right now and you'll see it's been going for fucking hours just because I defended them and also because I've been going after Antifa as well. It, 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 like, that, doesn't that make him a little bit cowardly? So it's like, oh, I'll defend free speech, but if it possibly will offend anyone and make them associate me with someone else, I won't defend them? But that, how does that make me cowardly when I say that you're saying no, that that's no, not, not you, I'm not saying you, that's, that's what you. I, in fact, no, done? No, no, not you. I'm talking about Sargon. Is the fact that he is not doing that because of the association thing, doesn't that make him cowardly, not you? This is because of the results, say... Because if you're for free speech, it should be for all free speech, no matter who it, who it is. It's called social consequences. See how as soon as you associate with anything or come in defense of something, you're not... People aren't going to, on purpose most of the time, aren't going to recognize... You're just defending the principles about it. You're going to think you're defending what that person's saying. Like when we came out and defend, you know, well, what, well, some people just don't want the drama. Fucking racist or whatever. Anyway, like who cares? Like, and pl plus, Count yeah. Dankula. This is this is what you know. Sargon doesn't really understand. He doesn't really understand that freedom of speech is essentially a white idea. 
and it can only really prosper if if everyone is sort of on the same page that that in that respect do you agree with that what does freedom of speech have to do with being white but this is it isn't it come on i mean you freedom of speech is essentially a, a sort of european idea isn't it yes that doesn't i don't see why that doesn't mean other people can take part you know, the TV was a Scottish idea. Does that mean you're, none of you guys can watch TV? I don't, I don't know what no, you mean. No, no, look, look, other people can take part by all means. And it's, look, it's freedom of speech is, it, is essentially a white idea. So when you refuse to acknowledge race, as Sargon does, then you open yourself up for attacks on that freedom of speech. You open yourself up for elements in that society, you know, no, like no, Islam, no, no. you know, attempting to stifle other people's freedom of speech, and then the government doing nothing to stop them because freedom of speech is paramount. Do you not understand? No, I don't understand how freedom of speech uh, matters because it's a white idea. Doesn't mean that it can apply to everyone. I'm, I don't understand that, no. So, so if you allow freedom of speech to uh, the purest form of Islam that seeks to assimilate and, and kill everyone as infidels, you allow that and you have nothing in the state, no, nothing I, in the I, government. I, I, I explained you can... that earlier. You have the freedom of speech and you have freedom of expression up until you try and use it to infringe. But okay, on okay. Else's freedom. But what if that? What if that your freedom of speech is to assimilate other people? Then you're stifling them on the base on the basic grounds. You know, so it's all it's all very subjective to what you define as. Hate well, here's, well, here, here's the thing: if someone wants to convey their opinions to someone and present their ideas and their ideology, and that person chooses of their own free will to be a part of that, then that's their fucking decision. Uh, they have the freedom to choose to do that, but then, but then they don't have the free. They don't have the freedom to do so, do they? If they, if if well, the government's going to step in and, and stifle them as, as hate speech, yeah, exactly. That's why I'm against the actual hate speech laws. I'm against them. The government should exist to protect protect your rights, not influence your opinions. So what rights you should everyone have? Should rights should people should people not have rights then to uh, not be assimilated by by a foreign power like Islam? Yeah, well, it's cool that all you do is all you do is like not take part in it. Yeah, but they, these, you can you, look, you ignore, to be a part of Islam. By all means, you can ignore it and not take part in it. But one day, you know, this whole idea of your freedom of speech is going to be so encroached, isn't it, that you can't sit back and ignore it? So, 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 so the thing is, you think it's going to be freedom of speech is going to be enforced selectively. I think I think realistically, freedom of speech has to be enforced selectively, and it has no, to be. No, then it's not freedom no, of no, speech. No, 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 no. How dacular, how dacular, whatever your name is. You have to realise that you have to protect the rights of your in-group with whatever freedom of expression you allow. Because if you allow every freedom of expression, this blanket over everything, then you do open yourself up to foreign assimilation, which can ruin what you are, your identity, the people that surround you. No, you recognise this, don't you? No, I don't recognise that, no. People still so have you come on, yeah. to everyone. You can't thank you. Then... You're yeah, you let in every Muslim non-stop and don't limit that. What's you know these Muslim? like fucking Sharia courts. Now you have identitarians being banned from the UK. You got fucking uh, <laughs> a Muslim rape gangs and all that stuff. Yeah, but his point is you have to at least, you know, like see this and limit this for, the, for your people. You know what I so, mean? So, so it's literally supposed to be one rule for me, another for thee. In other words, we need to instill the exact same thing that you're complaining about right now. Like, what do you mean? Like, basically, we are saying, oh, they guys have free speech and they can encroach this and this and that. On no, us. no, look, look, free speech is fine and everything, around. but when you bring in a ton of Muslim people into one area and they make no white zones... And then Isn't they fucking bring Sharia problem. courts, all that. Yeah, I'm, I'm against mass immigration. I'm against Sharia yeah, courts right. because they go, they yeah. go, they go directly against individual liberty. I don't believe that you should be allowed to drag your wife into the town square and beat the fuck out of her because she showed a bit of ankle. No, well, what if that's their freedom of speech? That. Your wife said, yeah, exactly. That's free, yeah, that's that, 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 that falls under what that's that's action. What, yeah, that falls on what enough. I said okay. earlier Fair enough. as well yeah. when it says you can have your freedom of speech until you use it to try and impose your ideology on someone else because that forgoes their individual liberty. Like, Muslims can chant all they want. We want Sharia law. Every single person in the UK has the right to go, no, go fuck yourself. True, fair also, enough. Also, not all Muslims want Sharia law, so, you know. And some, some Muslims are here to get the fuck away from that. But you, look, you recognise that having free... 
You recognise yeah. that having free speech with everyone without actually looking at the people themselves, their identity, their race, uh -huh. is not yeah. conducive. Okay, then, well, then who's going to be the arbiter of that? The indigenous, pe indigenous people of that respective country. So the Native Americans? No. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously not what he meant. We don't care. Well, I mean, you're, you're saying native, so where, where does it stop? Are we talking about the Irish, the Germans? Like, well, which, which people, which natives? How far back do we go? Do we, do we go to the Indians? Right, okay, so for example, for example... Oh, so, 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 by, so, by, so by that, right then, sorry, when you say it's the indigenous natives, does that mean me as a Scotsman are allowed to tell you guys to go and fuck yourselves, give us the Highlands back and pay us back all those... Where's my reparations, Englishman? Where's my fucking reparations? <laughs> it's not like y'all haven't tried. Let's be honest. But would you deny? Would you deny? Would you deny um, the people of Africa their ability to defend their own homeland? Would you deny that? Uh, they can well, defend it, but they shouldn't be killing people. You, no, but would you not allow them to run their own government to make their own laws for their people? Would you not allow that? Yeah. We well, we that. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. So, so that by that definition, then you'll allow. Indigenous English people, Indigenous French people, German people, to dictate their laws and have their laws. Yeah, but again, what do you classify as Indigenous? What, what, are, where's the line? Uh, that's what I need. You need to define that before you can start using that. Like, where does it start? So you're, going, the... you're going to do this whole uh, uh, abstract, you know, what is white? What, why, what? No, I'm not. No, 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 no. It's the human race. How no one has any interests. No one has any in-group identity. We're all believing in this free speech. We're all going to go blind. It's utopia. How, it's your how? Word, you, isn't it? How is it abstract? Well, I'm asking it, you to define your. Exact it's not abstract for me. It's abstract for you because look, it, the moment I say. So Which you not, look, name? What do you classify as a name? I, tell you, I kind of want you to touch on what I said earlier. If you say the indigenous people are allowed to decide, you know what has ha what happens to their country. Does that mean me as a Scotsman, I'm allowed to tell England to go fuck itself, and we get to keep all our oil, all our resources, everything else? Does that mean I would have that right? Of course, yeah. Who's who's saying who's saying you don't? Well, the English. Again, what's What's the difference between them and the Native Americans? Does an American want to sort of BTFO this ridiculous argument? How, how is it a ridiculous argument? Did the Native argument? Americans, look, did the Native Americans safeguard free speech? No. Well, look, did they have any idea of what... That's not what we're discussing, is it? Did they have any idea of liberty and individual rights? You, that was okay. a, no. No, look, no, because... It, uh, we're essentially we're essentially talking about well, Western well, civilization, yeah, which is trying, which is grounded on the people. ideas oh. formed by white people. Yeah, you're trying to blame people for not knowing about something they had absolutely no concept of. We were much more developed. So, so, okay, than so do you think, think that? Oh, do you, you think, think they're given enough man... time without, without? Do you think they're given enough time without the introduction of these concepts by white people that the native Indi I mean, Indians, Native Americans, what have you, would have set up a constitution of freedom of expression, freedom of speech, just in their well, own time? Do you think that they, they, were that, they were literally, they were literally tribes living in fucking tents and mud huts. Do you think when white people were at that stage, they went? Better draw up a fucking constitution, ugh, like <laughs> fucking no, 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 okay, no so, one but, thought that. By that conceit, you, by that conceit, you don't think that you think that they'll evolve into uh, developing these ideas. Is that right? Is that what you're trying to say? Yes. Eventually, yes, probably. Were, yeah. were, eventually. So, they, so, 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 they, black they people were, and people of color and native it's, Indians it's, will eventually evolve into white people. Is that what you're trying to say? How do you make that fucking connection? They were literally tribes living in fucking mud huts, and you're trying to blame them for not knowing about basic politics, democracy. Yeah, because I'm trying, to, I'm trying to explain to you that these ideas, these ideas of individual rights and freedom of speech and freedom of expression, are white ideas. So you're trying to say that they well, could never, not ever, they could white. never ever, not necessarily. On their own it, well, by that section, you expect I, I mean, them to te just technically play out and becoming race, which would, um, that, so that, that would never, that would never ever evolve in its own. So, it, would, it would never ever evolve on its own. So basically, you're saying that if there was an uncontacted planet somewhere, but let's just do a carbon copy of Earth and fill it with black people, you're trying to say that out of their entire timeline, never ever at any point would they bring up the idea of democracy. It would never ever like independently develop on its own. It's only white people that would ever have come up with that idea. Well, Count Dracula, I can only look at history and precedent and say that that hasn't happened so far in the Earth's history. 
So well, we well okay then. White people came up with it first. European culture came up with it first, and then it spread. But my question is, do you yeah, believe spread? And, and, that, and, yeah, but do, but do you believe? Let's say that there was people who were completely uncontacted, and they, you know, developed, you know, society. They were building skyscrapers, all that type of shit, not living in mud huts. Do you believe that if they developed to the stage we were at? when white people originally conceived the idea that you don't think they would have conceived the idea just because of the colour of their skin. But it's not their colour of the skin, is it? It's their race, it's their IQ. Okay, oh, okay so then. Race, okay. Oh, so it's their IQ. You can't, so you, like, you can't hate reduce... Hate like, like, my friends, you can't reduce race and people's identity to just skin. Also, you I have to like reduce to it to really other things. Like, okay, 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 then. I'm, okay, no, then let's, let's take that on. Like, both sides were pretty near. Okay, and can you tell me whether or not you feel that they would have developed it on their own? Well, they what? They haven't. History has shown this. It's only the white involvement. Stop avoiding it, man! Fucking hell! So like, they, just, they haven't. History I've, has I've shown. Already, they I've already given you just some sort of made-up story about a planet, a planet only full of black people. We'll call it Planet Yeezys, right? Do you think that they would have been able to come up with the concepts of democracy and liberty on their own, or do you think that? No, they would because they're white concepts. They're white <laughs> concepts. <laughs> concepts born from European people. Oh, for fuck's sake! Well, uh, again, they, they were born from every single like a mix of Persian and Greek people, but yeah, sure. If, if you want to claim it's white, then fair enough. <laughs> I like, think, yeah, say, I think give it to the French. French. Oh, I try, like, yeah. You're all trying to say that it's all, we're all one human race. We're not allowed identity. We're not allowed to identify as an in group. Who said that? I, I, you uh, know, it's, it's all a gotcha. It's all a gotcha. No that? one would have. Um... It's not. It's just. No, it's just. See if you don't know the answer to the question. Just say you don't know. I know the answer to the question. No, because it's a white idea. It's a white idea. <laughs> yeah, okay. White people came up with it first. Right, what I'm saying is other How people can very culturally appropriate. Us. So, you know, I'm going to let someone else so... speak. I'm just going to let someone else speak. Uh, just, I've been holding this one. Just, just a quick question. Uh, is your culture so weak that you need to cling to keeping other cultures out for it to survive? Or are you saying your culture is strong, but you just want to keep them out anyway? Like, please explain. Why do you think your well, culture look, it's, will it's... easily be overtaken? Yeah, the white birth rate is dropping through the floor. It's very weak. It's yeah, under attack well, from all sides. Let me finish. Let me finish. That, that's awful. It's that's under awful. attack from all sides. There's government policy in place that is stopping white people from identifying as an in-group, as you know, in people who have an actual claim to their homelands. Yeah, Do you not think that that you... means we are weak? White people are no. weak at the moment. And it's only going to get worse if no one starts talking about these issues and recognizing white achievements and recognizing white value. So you need white white birth rates are falling. Wait, look, look, you're like what he's trying to say is, oh, with this mass immigration of people who have higher birth rates and bring them into the West, this is fucking up. The birth rates even more, and the variables. Yeah, everyone here agrees okay, that. Can I, can okay, I, can I, can fair I enough. Okay, That's what he's saying. Okay, That's what he's saying. Okay, okay, we we all agree that immigration is bad. Can I? Can I ask him then? Can I ask him a question? Can I ask him a question? Right. You're saying that white birth rates are falling, but the migrants that come to Britain are still very, very perfectly capable of having children and stuff like that. So, what what is it about being white that's stopping them then? What's stopping them from having kids? There's nothing. It's just white people don't have as many kids. What are you trying to say? What are you trying it's, to it's, say? It's, it's, it's just white people don't have as many kids. Just that's it. Just yeah, that, look, because, because there's government policy in place that's stopping them from doing so. What, like what? So do you not think okay. that white people have to... Do you not think that white people have to uh, have careers now? It's almost frowned upon for women to have families and have children. Whereas in these, whereas in these minority ethnic communities, no, it's still traditional. No, look, in these it's minority, it's still, it's still traditionally valued. It's still traditionally valued that a Muslim woman can stay at home and have kids. Whereas in white society, in the society that we know, uh, careerism is very much promoted, okay, and the idea of having children is different from kids. You still can't have kids. Women get so much fucking time off working, everything to fucking have kids, and still receive full pay as well. Yeah, I think yeah, he's talking about like, the, the social. I, I, I think he's talking about yeah, he's talking about um stay at home moms and stuff. Like they get time off for the birth and such, but I think he's talking more about stay at home moms, which I don't I would entirely that, disagree with. But I, I, would, I, would, say, I would I would say, hold on, let me just get in on this because I've been a little bit quiet. Um, I would say that if we're talking about a better solution than uh, kicking out all the black people or the Muslims or whatever it is that you're wanting to get rid of in the particular country you're looking at, 
why not change the social structure since you're talking about a social problem? That's like literally what Hungary and Poland are doing, by the way. They're trying to make things more family friendly to make it easier for people to actually have kids and have families. That's what Hungary and Poland are doing. And that sounds great. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's the problem with that. That's What's the good. problem with that? You also got to take into account that if you actually look at immigrants' birth rates, they do slowly through the generations. I think it's four or three generations, up to three or four generations, they start having a, you know, 1.5 to like 2.3 birth rate, just like every other Westerner. It's it's just they move to a different country and they need to assimilate. It, it takes time. Of course, like their countries have bad birth rates because they don't have like basic fucking birth control and they have shitty cultures. I mean, you can you can say it's a white thing that they have slow birth rates, but you look you can look at Asia. I think we're kind of and most this countries over there. Yeah, it's like. Why don't, why don't we move on to something else? I feel like we're beating this to death. Yeah, that's, that's why I'm saying we were kind of going on a tangent. I mean, we're, we're talking about fucking birth rates when we're talking about freedom of speech, to be honest. Because I understood, like, the, when I was coming on here, I understood that we were here to uh, discuss why the fuck Trent was here. Trent's gone. He left about 20 minutes ago. I, I noticed that. I was w wondering why, because last I saw it, it looked like he was sort of crying into the camera. Was that, uh, was that, Trent, was that Trent that page 80 bucks. In the background? Yeah, Trent paid 80 bucks, said he wanted to come on and talk about liberalism, and he got on after 30 minutes of technical difficulties. Kids were crying, and then he ended up leaving, so that's kind of the whole story. Huh. So, you said you had oh, questions right. for liberalists, so I was just wondering what that questions were. Me? I, guess... I, asked, I asked Trent, what are your policies? And he told me, we have none. Okay, okay, so okay, he, he's a sargonist. I, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna coin that term, he's a fucking oh, sargonist. Don't even. Uh, even though, oh no, 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 it's already coined. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that I 100% came up with that original idea. But um, he's a Sargonist. He wants to wait for Sargon to decide what the fuck to do. Um, there are bigger liberalist groups, however, that are already starting things and deciding policy. And if you want to ask well, them, I think let, let, let me ask you this, Charles. Um, when you say liberalist groups, he started it though. He he started it, but it's like <laughs> it's like saying, well, someone. Charles, can, I point, said, can I point something out real quick? One person in a bar brings up an idea, and then like three other people take that idea and actually do something with it. I mean, are you saying, are you saying oh, well, well, shut up, that, anything that Sargon matter. says, anything you make up in your little bubble, no, will be this is something Sargon No, said. look, let me finish. Let me... I don't oh, four of you, sake. three of you. Just let me finish my point. Thank you. When Sargon makes a decision on something that you've made a decision on and overrules you, then that becomes the word of law, doesn't it? No, we no, tell him to fuck off. <laughs> you you're going to tell Sargon to fuck off, are you? Yeah. I, I mean, Sargon if, 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 if Sargon, Sargon comes in the liberalist group and is like, hey, we're um, going to be anti-gun and we want to let the Muslims come in here and they're the only ones that are allowed to breed, yeah, of course we're going to tell him to fuck off. So, Medicare, <laughs> hold on. So, something that I would like to point out. Sargon has actually said... And this is something that he has directly said. This isn't my conjecture. He has clearly said, and you might take this as he's just sort of just like just distancing himself. He doesn't want to be a direct leader. He wants to be one of the thought leaders, right? Not yeah, not but Chancellor, he, he he directly told me in the stream that I did with him. Mm -hmm. I am the leader. The mantle of leadership has been thrust upon me. I have to do this. This is the group I'm starting. So that seems to contradict what he's telling you. That it, it, it might. Yeah, it, it, it does it, everyone, everyone, seems think, everyone seems to think that he fucking marched down through the mountain with the principles carved on stone tablets and said that this is the way it shall be and always will be. Like he asked for feedback from everyone. Some of the principles outlined free speech got changed because he had a huge discussion about it. He didn't just go, "Here are these rules. You will all follow them. They're open." Yeah. Yeah. Right I, I now mean, we've got like a we're starting to say if you don't make it go for yourself. I'm still talking. I didn't. I th you kind of naturally cut out for me. I sorry about that. Um, basically, we've already got like regional groups. There's a Liberalist UK. I'm working on um, one called Australia. Liberalist International. There's a Liberalist International. There's a Facebook group ran by I think. Uh, like the Socialist Workers International. Is that right? I'm sorry. Well, you can say like the Socialists International, but I mean, you can also say like Democrats International or like uh, the Red Cross International. Like, just because it's international doesn't mean you have to go, well, well it's this, just this like. Actually gonna, like, that's kind of straw man. Charles. Uh, the Charles well kind of there. Yeah, yeah. Charles and Chancellor, are you saying uh, this actually now is going to be more entertaining for me? Sure. Are, you, are you saying there are subgroups of liberalists now? May I, am I going to watch Sargon get knocked off as the top leader as you guys take power from him? I don't. Well, I, mean, I don't think that's going to. That would be kind of funny. Like, don't get me wrong. 
That would be kind of funny. Are I you going to co-op the shit that he no, coined? No. It's not co-oping now, is it? Because he's still helping us. He's he's very active. With oh, the he's your table. little helper. Yeah. Well, no, what, what's what, to what's he going to do in Australia, though? No, seriously. Charles, like, you're I'm falling into his trap. Hold I, on. I, I, Billy, no, I'm Billy. I'm doing stuff in Australia. Should I listen to Sargon about Australian policy? No, you now? shouldn't. I think you should run the show. Fuck Sargon. You should be in charge, Charles. Yeah, that's what we're saying. That's what we're saying. He is helping in the UK and running a lot of stuff there, this but he can't, amazing, he like can't do can an international this thing. He doesn't want to. Charles, Charles, can you explain this to me? Why is he appearing at these events, then, as a leader of the movement? He's appearing because as a figurehead. A figurehead. When has he appeared as a figurehead? Which is exactly what I've said. He's the most well-known person. He has the largest access to audience. More people are likely to listen to him. Who, who are and, people more yeah. likely to listen to on stage? Sargon or fucking Disco Steve down the street who's got, like, three followers on fucking Twitter. It's, right? it's because, yeah, that's the reason why. It's but like you people, don't realise, then, that if you've got a, a lot message, of those people that Sargon's trying to appeal to are already members of his audience. He's not appealing to anyone outside of his bubble. You, you seem to think that, that everyone just unanimously agrees with everything that he says. Like, I've got, like, oh, no, 120,000 really subs, and not all of them agree with me. I can assure you that not all of them agree but, with me. But if, if he made the group, and the group should align with the principles Code. and policies, but every other subgroup is making different policies. Well, he didn't really this. create the group, he just kind of coined the term. Yeah, Again, that's, like, that's, he, the, that's the exact okay. same for the alt-right. <laughs> the alt-right is used as a blanket term for the for everyone that's on that spectrum, even though a lot of them disagree fundamentally on very, very different things. Like That's that's the thing, is the alt-right itself is used as a blanket term, even though fair a lot enough. of them have. Count Dankula, uh, everything enough. Richard that's Spencer says, right. Adam. Look, Count Dankula, the alt-right is a point on the political spectrum. Liberalism yeah. is a party established by Sargon. Liberalism? It, it's based on classical liberalism, so it isn't that, you know? Why not call Already it classical sensor. liberalism then? Why not go under that banner of classical because, liberalism? Uh, it's a party. Because it's a party. It's a, party. Oh. it's a Sargon of the party. We are in some countries. That's what. That's what I'm yeah, saying. That's the, th that's the thing. Is like you get like the Tories. Or why don't you just call them se yourselves the Conservatives? Or because then we get mixed up with other conservative parties. Like you said, there are subgroups and stuff like that forming from it. From people who obviously have different principles aligned with the main group. That's just what happens with politics. People branch off. You used to have, like, the Liberal Democrats used to be a part of Labour, but then they broke off because they had conflicting opinions and then Branding they formed their own important. party. Like, Sorry, Taco, what? No, I was just saying the branding's very important. Yeah, that's why, that's why they have to choose that name so they obviously don't get conflated with other groups. They might end up having to change the name because there's too many people calling themselves liberalists, but a lot of them yeah. they agree and disagree on different principles. That's why. The name, will, the name will probably have to end up changing because it's going to get confusing yet again. And like I said, like yourself, like with the alt-right, everyone calls everyone alt-right when a lot of people in the alt-right don't even fucking agree with each other. So, Charles... <laughs> If if you're running a different subsect of liberalism, liberalistism, uh, what what are your policies? Because Sargon hasn't really outlined any. So what is the Australian well, liberalistism okay, okay. policies? Um, currently, we're just trying to get organized and stuff. But I'm currently trying to because we we already have two small political parties that kind of fit our goals. We're, we're just trying to figure out which one's better to kind of. So who are they? Who are um, they? Um, well, the the best ones we have is the liberal. Democrats, and then also we have the Reason Party, but the Reason Party is a bit too. So these are these are the status quo. Then you're essentially agreeing with what's in place at the moment, the status quo. Well, it's not the status quo because they're small parties that never get voted in. <laughs> it's the status quo if you're looking at existing like, political again, parties and going, that's essentially what we agree. believe. We don't agree with everything they say. Like it, it's just you can't really like it's really it's pretty I'm, hard I'm, to start. Aren't you really, really angry though? Aren't you really, really angry though? Because people are actually trying to start a political party to go against the status quo. Don't, don't oh, try and mischaracterize me. Don't try and. Uh, <laughs> no, it's just, oh, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just going to point yeah, okay, out. Okay, I, I, I would agree with him. Count Dracula, um, Dankula has a point. Like, do you want us to start a party and actually do something, or do you want us to join another party? Like, what, what do you want us to do? Do, do you want us to Personally, sit out and be hippies and rock some? First, let me finish. Thank you. Personally, I don't want you to rally around Sargon of Akkad and V with all of his war fetishism and try and LARP as a political party when in I'm fact sorry, you're essentially there to Sargon meetups <laughs> and to donate and give him money. If he really wants to... 
look, if he really, look, he's got enough money. If he really wants to make this a thing, he should definitely disassociate himself from it and just bankroll it. But he's not going to do that, is he? Instead, he wants Again, to be a figurehead of the movement. Let me finish. Instead, he I wants think, to be I a figurehead think, of the movement, a you, leader. You really, you really underestimate the funds that actually go behind any kind of political movement. Like, he's not, I'll admit, Sargon makes money. He's not that fucking rich. Yeah, I'm going to. 150 100. grand a year, you know, that's off his Patreon. I don't know what he earns off his AdSense or anything like that. But I, I, assume, I assume he earns quite a bit, more than most politicians. Eight more than the people you've got. Yeah, you've got tax and then personal finance. Yeah, you, yeah, you need to pay tax on top of that. I need to pay tax for my Patreon. So, so, so Sargon's a poor man after the tax, then, is he? No, but you're, even if he's left with a hundred grand, he's, how the fuck are you going to change the entire? Spent, he's already spent four thousand five hundred hiring out this this beer hall putsch that he tried to uh, launch the liberalistism. Beer hall push, really? Hell, hell yeah, man! I've got a hundred grand. I'm going to change the fucking entire country. Hell yeah! yeah. That's, that's, what doing, that's what he's trying to do. Do you not recognize? <laughs> I know you're his mate. I know you. I know you're here to defend him. But I mean. The fact I'll defend, that you don't defend him where I feel it's apt. Cargo cult, this personality cult I'll, around. I'll, I'll defend him where I feel it's apt. Everyone thinks that I'm too scared to fucking disagree with him. No, I'm not. I've disagreed with him in very, very many things. Like what? Like everyone sitting there, oh, oh, well, most, mostly the principles that he outlined in the liberalist things. I thought some of them were a bit too broad. He's a bit. Thank you. This is what we're saying. We're saying that it's all too broad. We're saying. No, it's not. It's you're, you're, you're attacking him for doing anything in the first place. You're turning around saying, like, oh, is, he, is he just not allowed to do this just because he's Sargon? That's that's the point I'm getting here. He's not allowed to do uh, this. I, I can't speak for like, Godwinson. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. I can't speak for Godwinson, but my personal take on it is it's fucking laughable. Yeah, I, it's not Jim, that Sargon doing it. Yeah, yeah, that's right. right. Contacula, let me finish. Yeah. You're right. It's a fucking YouTuber starting a political party. If that's not meant to be laughed at, I don't know what is. Well, then who's allowed? You need to get, who, need to get who, perspective on this. You're YouTubers that want to start a political party. That is funny. Yes. If Jake Paul well, wanted to do that, if Logan Paul wanted I, to do I, that, I'd be laughing very, at them. That's a very American that's thing, Billy. Thing. I mean, over in you that's know, not an nations, it's a, it's a bit easier to actually start a political party. So I'm just saying, it's well, it can be easy know. to do it. It doesn't mean it's still not fucking goofy. But there's <laughs> legit fucking. Uh, oh, so, oh, he's a YouTuber, he can't start a political party. Uh, let's just go tell all the politicians that are just fucking, like, you know, cafe like, owners to fuck okay, off. And when he started his political party, did he start it with policies, or did he say, I'm Sargon of Akkad and I'm doing this, come join me? Because nobody seems to nail well, exactly. his policies down. It, it, it's exactly. a bit hard to start with policies. Yeah, that's, 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 well, then he yeah. shouldn't be criticizing the alt-right and saying they don't have any vision or plan or policies or platforms when I he doesn't either. Him, did I? No, I said he shouldn't be doing that. He's yeah, going he on and saying to Richard Spencer, "You don't, well, Richard. It's all a, a fantasy. You're living in a fantasy, Richard. Give me, you know, what about isms? What about isms? How are you going to do this? Are you going to allow black cows in the ethno state?" But he doesn't have any policies set down himself. So yeah, if I he's going to laugh at Richard Spencer for doing that, I'm going to fucking laugh at him for doing it. Yeah, that's why I think he's an idiot for going on the streams. I've told him. Do that. you not think, I, do you, Christopher, whatever your name is, do you not think that it's conducive to start a party, to start a political movement with actual policies, and not just Sargon of a cat? No one's saying he can't have an idea, but it's, it's, he he's had, gone about he had, it the wrong he had way. He goals in mind. He had goals in mind. This is what we want to achieve. He had goals in mind, but he didn't tell yeah, anyone but, about them, did he? But, but, well, that's liberalism. Call it, 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 it's not from the get go. Exactly in, individual liberty and freedom of speech, he did say that from the get go. The idea was people to come together and decide the best way to go about doing that. You don't, you don't go in and go, here are my policies. What do you hope to achieve? Uh, don't know. We've not decided that yet. That's not how you start a movement. You start with a goal first and then figure out how you're going to get there. Yeah, I mean, even even communism, I mean, I, they're a horrible example, but they, they came up with communism before they started doing their shitty socialism. I don't think anyone in particular is saying he shouldn't be doing it. I don't think well, there's a few that. people in here that have. Right? Like who? It's just fucking like fucking Jim and whoever the fucking English boy yeah, like, is. No, no, I don't think Jim has ever said he shouldn't be doing. I it. never said it was morally right or wrong. I just yeah. said it was cringy shit, and I laughed at it. I like, do that to anyone. How is it Count cringy? Dinkula, if Count it, Dinkula, Count Dinkula, if you started a political party, Andy, if you started one, uh, fucking Tonka, if you did it, I'd be laughing at you too. Yeah, if, Billy. Who's, what? Who's who can start a political movement? Tell me. Uh, who they can think start a political movement. Um, 
there's a huge difference between like you think he's funny or dumb, and then someone saying he shouldn't be doing this. I don't think anyone. Yeah, but it's, not a, it's not an argument then. Why even bring it up? It's like, oh, well, humor that's... doesn't need I an argument. Well, it well, needs a punchline, well, Charles. Well, yeah, but but we, we, we're trying to have a. Oh well, then what's the fucking point of bringing up? That's like me saying, "Well, well, you ask me my personal uh, opinion." Uh, uh, Daniel has said uh, that uh, Jim, is, Jim is laughing at it. Yeah, I am. You're right. It's not an argument. I'm laughing at it. It's humorous to me. There's a punchline. It's a joke. It's not a fucking and, argument. Yeah, Humor just is not we're laughing at him. Just because we're laughing at him, we don't want him to stop. We want him to carry on. This is very funny. It's very funny not knowing what what he's thinking and what uh, his followers are trying to second guess him on. That's f- fantastic. It's great news. We I don't believe want to stop from Jim. Doing I don't so. believe that from Adam. But we want we want you to oh well let me tell you what I think. I think that personally this isn't what you think it is. This is a cargo cult. This is a cult for Sargon, and it's being dressed up in this political rhetoric. Is that why half the people in the actual Discord and shit don't actually agree with him on most points? <laughs> yeah. Well not most points, but <laughs> I don't know about most point. points, but we disagree with him a lot. Like Yeah, I mean we a lot of people Sargon for every little thing. We have our own ideas, we're doing our own things, we have our own projects. You should yeah, we don't want him to be a leader. Great. Uh, well, I've been banned from your liberalist Discord multiple times for second guessing your moderators. Might have to talk to Rambo about that. That's a yeah, different. That's Thanks a different thing. That. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. Wait, my point is, we're trying to do our own thing. So, if you guys are branching off and doing the the liberalist thing, okay. So, Charles, you're you're still working on it, or you're at the ground level. Then, what about you, Chancellor? Are you doing your own thing in a different country? Then, or what are you doing? Uh, I'm actually I'm working with the Discord that we both came from is Liberalist International. We are basically, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up, Adam. We're both uh, we're working on being like a support group for more local groups. We've already linked up with uh, Liberalist UK. We were involved with helping them with that meetup that the Godwinson went to. Um, we are hooking up with the Facebook group. That's strange because when I spoke to the when I spoke to the people who organised it, they said they were a Facebook only organisation and they didn't have any affiliation with you as a uh, Discord. You're group. talking about Dan's group. Uh, I'm talking about the group that organised the Liberalist meetup that Sargon uh-huh. was present. That was yeah. also involved with Liberalist UK, which is fundamentally based on uh, a Discord group that they mostly hang out in and a Facebook group that they set up separately. Yo, but it's yo, still I'm the same be, group. Yo, I'm going to be Liberalist Canada. I'm going to start that branch. You take I'm, it okay with that. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. taking Liberals Canada, trust me. If you, if you want to do it, do it, man. I mean, Mandy, is, is, your first, uh, is your first platform it, tranny cock? What, what, what is your no, policy? No, no, that should be third. Uh, first two, I'm going to start working on it right now, trust me. It's going to be fun. And if you amazing. actually do that, please invite me to that Discord, because that sounds fucking oh. amazing. Oh, I will. <laughs> it's going to be It's gonna be fucking amazing. Like, no, really, I want to be, I want to, <laughs> I want to see how that goes. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm going to have a crazy policy. You're going to love them. One thing I actually do like, I agree with Jim on, is that I do love a good shit show, even though I do take this seriously. All right, I'm Liberalist Canada. I need some photos shops of me with the crown liberals canada trust me boys i'm gonna make this queen andy amazing make it happen andy make it happen <laughs> we're going like with queen andy shit. he's claiming the crown yeah yeah I'm gonna uh, andy, andy, andy confirmed liberalist question mark no oh, no yeah. trust me i'm 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 a different branch i'm a different wait someone said it's taken no it's not taken i'm i'm claiming liberalist canada trust me i'm gonna have a whole set of principles Charles, did we actually did we actually not claim liberalist canada while we had the chance Done. yo 3500 watching liberalist oh, canada i'm gonna bring it on, on my show tomorrow right, when man. i'm on no that's fine uh, I remember you, you got to base it on liberalism because that's the entire movement. But oh, I, yeah. I think no, no, you said you said you could disagree, right? Uh-huh. So he can make it about anything. Well, yeah, but, yeah, but it, needs to, it, needs to, it needs to obviously have similarities. You can't just turn it in and go, "We're going to be Andy, similar." You need to make it. Be, no, 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 He can be a neoliberalist. It's fine. Okay, no, 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 Andy, Billy. liberalism in Canada has to be a white ethno state. Make sure that's in the fucking. Oh, for God's sake! You're constantly just like twisting words and shit. We said we disagree with Sal on and you're instantly saying oh well that means you can disagree with liberal uh, i don't know oh, wow that's weird a troll no. twisting words that i've never heard that before andy you need it's to make a, it about the white ethnos thing troll them man i i'm not gonna tr- I'm, I'm gonna oh, i'm gonna make liberal ones Char- charles how am i not well, a good i troll? believe it what, should uh, be. charles charles it, it, you, i'm not i'm not even a good troll have you seen the shit show the last two months with all the people yelling at each other that's that's escaped yeah. you you haven't yeah, seen you the got, non-stop you, you fighting got, you you got me there, but that's you're playing. I just want to watch a tire fire, and I've yeah. been entertained nonstop for two months. I did people tell you people are swiping each other's heads off. I did. Hey, Charles, uh, Charles, real quick. Uh, somebody's saying that you're actually a communist. Oh, for God's sake! Oh God, yeah, someone actually brought that up. Okay, um, all right, we I'm have not... an official Discord. 
Okay, I'm not. Andy claimed it. It is. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I'm not a communist <laughs> per se. I, I just think the end goal of human civilization will end up communist-ish, but not really. It's just the closest thing I can really think of that is closest. Because I mean, if robots, are, it's basically post scarcity and shit. Like if robots are doing everything, then it's kind of like you know. But it's it's not like I don't the want fucking socialism. I'm anti-socialism. This movement as a whole. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm super anti. So, th- this is like just what I think is going to happen in the future. Like, I I'm full on anti um, socialism and shit. Probably doesn't help that I used to be a commie. <laughs> Connor, oh, are any of you guys not communist? Uh, one former commie, one kind of commie chancellor. You got any red blood in you? Like, what are, what no, are we dealing I'm, with here? I'm a, I'm 100 liberal. Okay, yeah, well, that's not an answer. Are you a capitalist? Or are you a communist? Yeah, I'm a, no, I'm a capitalist. Okay. You can make Sorry, I guess it wasn't descriptive enough. That's my bad. And another you got something in that mixed market. <laughs> they're pissed that you guys are shitting on the all right without anybody here to defend it. Wait, wait, what is that? Well, I'm, I'm on the right, and I am. Um, You're not I, on I the right. No one on the right. No one on the right will define their political positions. You're not a true. true I'm right not a Charles. communist per se. I, Let I, me I don't remember anyone crying when we've laughed at liberalists for the past forever. You, we we can let them have their conversation about the fucking liberalists. <laughs> I, I mean, it doesn't I have to turn into a battle royal of pleasing everyone's fucking feelings. I mean, <laughs> well, I, I we, guess we, I am haven't re- we haven't read a, a sign in a while, so let's see. Kumite in turn. We both says not a liberalist, uh, but could you ask them? Can we assume that since it's Sargon's movement, we can safely conclude that his beliefs expressed and his videos on a reflection of what his movement is about? No. Are you? No. No? They're just straight up no. It's an individualist movement anyway, so like most of his beliefs are his. Like, mm-hmm. Okay, so to give you an idea, right, to give you a general idea of what it's like, most of the people in the movement are around the center, most of them agree with liberal principles, but as far as where they fall, as far as left and right, that's that's a mixed bag. People seem to, okay. think, as, people seem to think as well that it's a, a political ideology that you can believe, that you should believe in in order to be a part of it. Most of it is just a code of ethics, treating others fairly. Like you can it's, have- <laughs> it's about ethics and politics. <laughs> I mean, I mean... I mean- Te- of course, don't feed him that line. Course, don't feed him that. You would laugh. It's of course, you would laugh at that, Jim. Count <laughs> me. You've just said you've just said it's built around pe- treating people fairly. Who doesn't want that? Mm-hmm. Well, partly you. Uh, because, uh, partly right. you, because you're yeah. like, oh, we want we want certain special rules for white people, but you know, fuck everyone else. <laughs> that was what you were saying earlier. Yeah, yeah. In the, well, in the, look, look, guys, what, why guys, is that uh, guys, that guys, guys, guys. As the only capitalist here. Uh, I gotta I, read these. I object to that. Uh, are you are you full on capitalist? Yeah. Uh, Squishy Mushy says, Andy, you're following the blonde chick on Twitter. She's not a tranny. Her name is Elise. <clears throat> Andrew M says, I think Sargon enjoys the company of trannies for other reasons than diversity. Andrew M says, Sargon is gonna become uh, Sargucci with all the beta cucks uh, <laughs> bucks from that QR code. Uh, Black D Dragon says Adam Morsey breaks in ha- into Hasbro with an axe screaming, I am I am here to save the children. Besides him staying in Medicare, and I am here to vaccinate them. Uh, two Scoops Two's Agenda says, I don't like black people. Me neither. Uh, Wesley Films for two bucks says, uh, hey Jim, are you going to do a video on Jerry Pete? I have no plans on doing a video on Jerry Pete. I've got other shit uh, planned. Uh, okay, uh, Two Scoops Two Agenda says, I don't like black people. Uh, Anto Mine says, uh, so are you guys Nazis? I would like to talk to someone on the stream without being drowned out by your hundreds of fans. Uh, I- I'm anti-socialist, so no. <laughs> okay. Uh, Abby's Warrior says, hey, hey, Jim Jam, long-time fan of your shit. Don't know if you remember me on Patreon. No, he doesn't. First time on Kumite, I want to see you destroy some niggers. I have a shekel. Uh, Tidon says, uh, when I saw Sor- uh, Sori Goy on, uh, and his crew, I lost my last hope. Uh, Robert Santiago says, uh, hey, Andy, I, I just want to know if you uh, consider race mixing a problem to keep a race 100%. No, you could, you could race mix if you want. Mm-hmm. I'm totally fine with that. However, Robert I want to thank, mm-hmm. thank everyone who's joining Liberalist Canada. I'm creating... The the servers we have about all right. Where's the link to this? I want to see we have about uh, <laughs> I'd say eighty members and growing nice. strong right now. 
Nice. Girls Wait, Andy, fun. is that is that eighty members on your Discord? Yeah, probably more. Is that, <laughs> it, Charles Charles Chancellor? Is that more? Does he have more liberalist members on his Discord than you guys do now? Oh, not even close. How many uh, do you have? Everyone, What's the number? You need to uh, let me look over here. Yeah, Let's 60, see. Sixty-nine plus. Been about eighty. Okay, we're, oh, it's growing. Oh God, I can't even. Robert yeah, Sandy, I know it's like, so, well about over about like quarter of those members are are my trolls, aren't they? Oh, for oh, fuck. Like, yeah, that's right. Like, these art trolls, these are going to be um, your actual members. Well, yeah. Andy, he said it's over 300. So if you can hit 350, you are the official de facto head liberalist Discord. Oh, yeah. Oh, and for I'll, fuck's sake. I'll promote it to, uh, uh, tomorrow. And on Twitter, I'm going to work on, on the principles today. It's going to be. And I'm serious. I want that link to that Discord. I want to see this. Yeah. All right. uh, uh, Robert Santiago says, uh, I love the show. Andy, keep up the good work. Uh, Abyss Warrior says, uh, Jim is my spirit ammo. Uh, Fuck Libero says, uh, Sargoy is the quadroon trap lover, so diverse. Fuck Libero says, Soygon soy of uh, Facade. Uh, one Spider Jerusalem, <laughs> Jerusalem says, uh, Liberalist, please, please respond. Are, are you guys responding? Yes. Uh, yes. uh, Trent and Trent and uh, Acne uh, says uh, this guy's just hurt, uh, butt hurt because uh, Sargon tore apart the neat LARPers that would talk to him. John Cena says you people don't want others to have rights. No, that's wrong. Uh, we only want rights for white people. Uh, don't <laughs> <laughs> that proves Sargon's point? Uh, Trent and An Acne uh, says. Uh, Ha 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 ha, this douche nozzle is planting a field of straw men about Sargon. All his views are in his video. John Cena says, also, why does every guest want to suck off Jim? I mean, I'd let him, but, uh, uh, fuck me, but, too, but, uh, uh please be a little subtle about it. Uh, Axton Hale says, can we please, uh, move on? Uh, Chuck Reardon says, uh, Sargon shit talking his, uh, has ran its course next uh trent trent says uh england doesn't want uh, want no nah, england doesn't have freedom of speech ask dankula dankula i'm sure about from that? england I'm, I'm i'm from scotland and uh telling them. no we've got we've, hey. we've got we've got people over here that are literally in jail for tweets mm -hmm. well, that's, good that's good. fucked up man oh, yeah, uh, you, 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 you should uh, get some australian politics in you see so yeah, our freedom of speech hey uh, yeah, we're, we're trying to, we're, that's what we're trying to do, you know, but like, uh, one, of the be one, of, one of the best methods we could, we could, you know, do it by is, you know, possibly liberalist, but you know, that's all gay and cringe and shit like that. It is, yeah. It yeah, is. I know, I know it's totally not wanting to go to jail over tweets. It is, uh, fake and gay. gay. I mean, oh yeah, because <laughs> you can't defend, you can't defend freedom of speech unless you do it under the liberalist brand. Like, what? you've never argued for freedom of speech before Sargon put that idea into your head, right? <laughs> well, the fa well, the fact is, until Sargon actually put me in the public eye, nobody had any idea who the fuck I was. Right, but was it liberalist? Yeah, you, then? Your, I've done that too. Were you were you your life with the before you ran into him? I mean, that idea never crossed your mind that you didn't. No, that didn't ridiculous. Nobody, nobody on apart from when the newspapers ran with it. I was completely fucking. I just sort of faded back into irrelevancy for about six. No, months. No, I'm not asking was, about relevancy. Yeah. I'm saying, did the idea that freedom of speech is good never occur to you before Sargon mentioned it? No, obviously. I, so obviously then you could I fight under that. that. Scottish, Scotland, uh, Scottish people could okay, fight I, under, I, under I, a I, myriad of brands. I I'm mean, sure many people, people have brought it up. How would people have heard of me though? Nobody knew who the fuck I was I'm until not, I. Do you, owe your, do you owe every every cent you earn now to Sargon? Then did Sargon create you? No. Is he your stepfather? I could be your dad. I could be your dad because I'm sensing a few issues here. You know. Did he, did he make your you know, Did he make you as a person? Then do you owe a great deal to Sargon? To a great, great debt. I'm starting to think your dad, like, you like your your no, I'm just saying, I think your mum ran away with a black one. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay, 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 one, okay, one, yeah. you're derailing both of you, and two, no, Jake, but is, is, like, you, I'm, you, I'm, no, 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 you owe a great debt, you owe a great debt to Sargon that you can't point at his liberalist. I know, the thing is, I was just too proud your point because you're talking absolute fucking shit because that's not what I was saying. Yeah, why are you saying that? I don't owe Sargon, Sargon anything. Sargon put you in the I'm... public eye. You make your living up the YouTube. Why, why you? ask a question if you're going to interrupt the answer? Do you care about the answer? Go ahead. Right. Please answer. Please go. Okay then, right. I don't owe Sargon any money. The point that I was making was the fact that nobody knew about me or my views 
or even had I never even had access to any kind of audience to actually put my views across until Sargon let me actually do an episode of This Week in Stupid Forum. So the fact is, he has access to audience, meaning the message can reach a wider audience. Do you think I would have been able to do it on my own if no one had fucking heard of me? Yeah, but that's no, not what I was. That was not what I was asking you. I mean, no, but the, but the fact that, is, you're, you're me laughing at uh, liberalism uh, and calling it cringy and finding it funny. Uh, Why and, you know, are you oh against liberalism? Yeah, what, what, what message? No, what, what I'm message asking you is, is what I, what I'm, I'm, not, asking I'm, you, not, I'm not attacking you asking, for that. What I'm asking you, Daniel. Daniel, what I'm asking you is, you're acting like these ideas of freedom of speech are going to jail because of a tweet is something that never occurred to anybody in Scotland before it was a bad thing, or that nobody was for freedom of speech, or that no political party existed. Before Sargon's liberalist, <laughs> they, they literally, they literally people. don't see in Scotland. We literally have no power. Oh, okay, are you seriously coming on here and saying that Scotland? The only reason anybody in Scotland is arguing for free speech is because of Sargon of Akkad. Are you really going to make that's that not argument? What he's saying, Jim, because, you know it. No, that's not what I'm saying. Well, I don't know what, what he's saying. What are you saying then? Please answer his okay. question properly. The fact is, we have no political parties right now fighting for free speech in Scotland. Yeah. We've got we've got the Tories, the Lib Dems, and Labour. Right, the Lib Dems are completely fucking irrelevant, and we've also got the SNP and the SNP. You say that you want. One of you said that the liber uh, the Liberal Democrats here's, 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 here's the Liberal Party. One of you said that they no, are the ones closest to line. No, 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 that's no. Australia, mate, not the UK. No, okay. no, no completely no, no, different no, no, country no, no, and no. continent, mate. I, I you did say that. that when you were saying it. I, I, I said Australia. The Lib Dems. So, uh, I don't know if you know Australia is in the UK. Let him finish. Let him finish. It's the fact is. If the fact is someone has to do fucking something, why can't it be someone? It has to be Sargon. Yeah. Well, it's it me that doesn't said, have to be Sargon. You see me? Right, why again? do you keep thinking that Sargon's like my fucking boss or some shit, man? I go off and do my own thing. I do my own thing. If Sargon like messages me and wants me to do an event, hell yeah, I'll go and do an event. But whenever I'm at that event, I can talk about whatever the fuck I want. Right? You see me think that he's like some sort of boss over me or whatever, and I don't, I, I don't disagree with him and all that. We have fucking disagreements all the time. I know that. And, and you I end up with a horse is chewing your bed. Is that right? Hey Jim. Hey Jim. Yeah. I think you go should. Uh, I think you should go ahead and go look at Andy's new Discord. It's a truly a special place, full of uh, excellent people. Uh, what's what's the membership uh, count at? What's the membership? Count I, at? I don't know. Anyone posting shit and <laughs> war shit? You're banned. I've already banned a bunch. No, of no, no, no. Liberalist Canada welcomes all tranny cocks. Now, how many members? No, do you no, guys? no. It's like like it, it, you put shit. Like there's people it, shit. Andy, shit. what's the uh, shit, what's the link? Shit shit That's the one principle that. Uh, <laughs> Andy, five hundred and fifty. This is your audience. In the span of about five minutes, a hundred and seven. Nice. Online, how many offline? Man, you got around uh, a lot of people oh, quick. Holy oh, shit. We're at 160, 170 people. Andy, you need to put the link out for the chat. They want to join. Oh, I I, I was. Here, here, everyone. Join. All right. I need to like for a minute. If you're yeah. not if you're not Jim and Dankula, just let Jim and Dankula have a go. They, they keep trying to say something to each other, and they never get there. Sorry, sorry. Go ahead. It was just most of the point I was making on earlier is like the fact is I obviously have access to audience here in Scotland and I'm someone who is directly going probably going to jail in eight days because of uh, overbearing hate speech laws. Yeah, I'm li I'm literally probably going to jail in eight days. Maybe maybe yes, maybe no. Maybe the trial's going to get delayed for you another. No, you could do. Soon. Just but, move to Australia, mate. No, nah, fuck that. I'm not going to. I'm not going to fucking run run away and turn my back on my country like a fucking hey, refugee. I'm do me do me a favor. Uh, before you go to jail, can you come on here so we could get your last words? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll be streaming along. Uh, I thought the last time you ran uh, a stream, you said that the uh, prosecutor delayed it for like another six months or something, didn't they? No, he the, the prosecutor literally just spoke for like eight hours, literally the entire day. The prosecutor just spoke, and he's got well, obviously they, like they delayed it for eight hours then. Yeah, well, he, he basically he, he basically talked and ran out the clock. He essentially filibustered so that by the time it got to the end of the day, they had to reschedule for another date. This was on like the fifth of January, and the soonest date they had was the twentieth of March. And this has happened like this is like my eighth or something time back in court. This has been going on for two years now. So what are they so charging? How, how long is the uh, how long is the sentence you're facing? It could be, uh, up to a year is the maximum penalty, but the prosecutor tried. To, like, on the 5th of January, the prosecutor tried to change the charge to something more severe, where my maximum sentence would have been five years. 
<laughs> in prison. But luckily, the judge rejected that. We get the death penalty. You're a monster. <sighs> probably dragged off to the gulag. I'll probably be getting sent to the sent to the chamber. Seriously though, is this is this a Scotland only law, or is this like UK in general? Like, what the fuck? It was like like I was saying earlier, like We're Scotland had a huge problem with sectarianism. Like, we do kind of have some of our own laws, uh, mostly because we did have a huge problem with sectarianism. But what's happened is these sectarian laws have now been branched out to basically mean fucking everyone. The funny thing is, these laws aren't really used to enforce sectarianism in, uh, to punish sectarianism anymore, which was their original purpose. They're now used to fucking charge people because someone said faggot on the internet and all that kind of stuff like that's what the laws are what used was to. your what was your alleged crime what did you do oh he trained his pug to do the hitler salute. let him let him speak i don't want to hear you i taught my dog to do a nazi salute and uh, react happily whenever i say the phrase gas the jews and uh, i uploaded it to youtube and i get charged with hate crime under the offensive communications act Everybody got quiet as hell. Would you, would you call that? Would you call that hate speech? Just in your own words? Well, obviously not. No. He's going to jail for it. Clearly, he's not calling it that. Probably. Yeah. All right. Hold It'd on. be the worst offense ever. Yeah. There was the thing, Jim, and and they they still haven't <laughs> got to it. Everybody try to let him do it again. This day. it was something to do with free speech. Jim was trying to ask Dankula. Uh, yeah, no, I, I find it ridiculous if you're trying to tell me that nobody in Scotland, no political party, advocates for free speech or thinks these laws are totalitarian or Orwellian before Sargon of Akkad signal boosted your particular news story. No, the, le legit, these parties do not enforce free speech. They, li they literally do not in Scotland. We have the Liberal Democrats who are completely fucking irrelevant, who want to overturn democratic votes. We've got the SNP who are pretty much the dominant party in Scotland and funnily enough they're the Scottish Nationalist Party and they are left wing as fuck and all of the hate speech legislation and laws on speech getting pushed in are getting pushed in by them and then we have fucking Labour who are literal fucking communists who literally charge white people more for tickets to get into events and they try to hire Monroe Bergdorf who's that trans fucking racist person that goes on TV and spouts about how well, all white people are evil. Those are the parties we have in Scotland, and not one of them gives a shit about free speech. And do you really? think this groundswell of liberalistism is going to change that? Hopefully. Someone has to do something. I know I know you think it's cringy, I know you think it's I, I do. I yeah, do. Yeah, but that's, 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 that's fine. You, but that's the thing is, you, you call literally everything cringy and gay. I, I call cringy and gay things cringy and gay, yeah. Yeah, I know, but like, fucking, it's kind of. I'm, 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 I'm not quite I'm not, I'm not, I mean, not, if you want to say that baby furs aren't cringy and gay, or fucking larpers aren't cringy and gay, I mean, where where do you what do you want to look at? That no, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. Atta I'm not attacking you for that, but that that's just kind of what you do. You could see a guy trying to save his toddler from drowning, and you'd be like, "Wow, look at that cringy faggot! Ah, look at him." What a gay well, no, not like, necessarily. I mean, I've done videos and I've talked about. Okay, okay, not before. necessarily. The fact that you're saying that you might do it. But oh, it might. Maybe it's, the, maybe it's the funniest drowning rescue that's ever happened. I don't know. Maybe he fucking cartwheels into rakes before he jumps into the river to save his toddler. I have no fucking clue. No, it's the fact that, like, obviously, like, you want to criticize stuff. That's absolutely fine. Like, the only time that I would have a problem with you is if you were telling people that they can or cannot do it. Like, oh, God, were, no, I yeah. want you to do it. Like, see, to me, like I said, I really do legitimately find this shit funny, and I have a pretty good idea of how it's going to play out. I, I'm not the type to tell people not to do it because I want to watch it play out. That's that runs counter to what I enjoy. It's the same reason with, uh, or it's the same thing with like streams. And I, I, I don't like watching people get banned off platforms. Like, it bugs me that Destiny's not on fucking Twitter anymore. Because like watching him spurg out and get into fights with people was fucking entertaining. And that's been taken away from me because people got him fucking banned off of that. I know, but like, it's just I, I like it being there so I can watch it. The, the thing is, though, is like, oh, okay, then we actually want to bring about pro positive change. But like, I know that you want to criticize that because you are the type of person that prays for negativity. Cause, Cause, it gives you content. You pr you pray. Well, I, I am very honest about my um, about my outlook. I, I've never I've never lied about that. I'm very honest about what I'm here for. I know I'm not attacking you for it, but again, that that is just who you are. You want to call stuff gay and cringy and stuff like that? Then absolutely fine. I mean, like we're we're here trying to bring about positive change. If that's not what you're all about, then that's fine. Yeah, no, no, I'm, positive I'm, not, I'm not I, about it, but like I said, I it wasn't a moral judgment. You guys could do whatever you want to do. I, again, just at the core of it, if I were sitting down in a chair talking to somebody, and, and I had to go through the story of liberalism and talking about a YouTuber founding it, 
we'd probably be laughing as I explain the story. Yeah, well, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think I don't think anyone would be laughing. See if someone, see if the liberalist movement end up actually getting a constitution in that actually protects people's. Oh, I, I, I will place a bet with you right now. I mean, you said you'd be out of jail in a year. I guarantee you, in a year, uh, maybe two years tops, but uh, we'll do a year. I'll bet a hundred bucks on it. In a year from now, this will be a disaster and the ass end of jokes. And if I'm well, wrong, and if you've accomplished something, I'll pay a hundred bucks. If you're wrong and I'm right and it's a fucking living joke, uh, you owe me a hundred bucks. That's why, 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 why are you so negative about people trying to do positive stuff? Do you not want to take the bet? I'll take the bet if you want. Yeah, I'll probably, I'll probably, I doubt I'll be out of fucking jail. Well, yeah, I mean, if you're not, if you're not out of jail in a year, whenever you get out, that that's fine. Maybe they'll keep you in there longer. That's but I, I figure, if, you know, March 2019, it's, it's good. At the end of his jail sentence, yeah, I'll, I'll, t- I'll take the bet. As soon, I'll take the bet. As soon, you know, as soon as Daddy Sargon gives me my pocket money, you know, I'll be able, I'll be able to pay that hundred bucks. Yeah. Okay. Are you sure about that? Hey, Jim. Yeah, but it's the, the fact is, like, we just want to do something positive. You want to call it cringy, you want to call it gay, that's fine. But it's just that, see, anytime anyone tries to do anything positive, you pray for it to fuck up. It's kind of, I just kind of get the impression you don't ever want anything good to happen. Well, again, I'd say that that's not true. I mean, you can look yeah, at the... Do, 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 do you not wish a success? Do you not Do you not want us to actually protect people's rights to free speech? Do you, do you not? I know that you're saying, oh, it's cringy, it's this and that. But, but, but deep down, do you not personally think... Oh, but if they actually manage to pull this off, that would oh, be... Okay, Count Aguilar, let me ask you this. If a diaper fur that shits himself and, you know, likes to do come all this... Come on, come on, come on, answer my question. No, man. I'm answering your question, but you've got to answer mine. It's it's a question to an... Okay. If a diaper fur who has an online presence and does doof or goofy shit starts a political movement, and then, you know, their shield to criticism is, oh my God, don't you agree with free speech? Why are you being so negative? It's, well, I'm doing something positive. How dare you laugh at it? I mean, come on. That's that's kind no, of how I'm, I see I'm, this. I'm, no, I'm saying that you absolutely can. Like, if you wanted to laugh at stuff and call it getting cringy, you, you absolutely can do that. But what I'm asking you is, do you not hope that something positive comes out of it? No, I'm a, I'm a realist. I, I see the reality. See, you don't you it. don't you don't want anything positive. It, to it's come it's out not of it. it's not about positivity. It's about just pregnant or pragmatism. Okay, uh, okay. I, then. I, even even, you... even even though personally you think, oh, there's like a one in a million chance that this is like actually going to work. So it's probably not going to work. So fucking like, but wouldn't it? So see if, if say that in in the one in a million we actually do manage to pull it off. Do you not hope for that? Well, no, because that wouldn't be entertaining to me, would it? Right, so you basically want negativity. Um, you just, yeah. you just want bad, you just want bad shit to happen. Well, I, I'm surprised that really people there. are baffled by this, this, this mindset. I mean, we're on the internet. It's full of faggots and retards, and part of the fun of it is laughing at the misfortune or the stupid things that other people do. So I, I want, think a YouTube it's, political yeah, party the, is the, just the, it's stupid. The, the judgment that I'm getting here is that you just flat out want bad shit to happen for your own entertainment and to give your channel content. Well, not necessarily for my to get my channel that's, content that's, because that's I've been engaged in a lot of yeah. I've been I've been engaged in a lot of negative things that have never made it to my channel. Yeah, but you want but you want bad stuff to happen then for your own personal entertainment. Uh, I want to be entertained, and usually that takes a form of people doing stupid shit. Yeah. Right. So basically, the entire the entire the entirety of Britain not having protections over free speech, you would find personally funny and not have any kind of sympathy. Well, have you heard me laughing or calling it cringy when politicians over there advocate for that? When Nigel Farage was talking about getting out of the EU and having government control over what they do, did I call him cringy and gay? I don't know. I've not seen him. No, I didn't. I, I, I didn't. So, yeah, I, I mean, obviously, they're... Okay, they're, 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 they're apples and oranges as well. Yeah, but the, but the fact is, as well, we're trying to accomplish the same thing, but apparently we're not allowed to do it because, well, not allowed, but... You're allowed getting, to. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, yeah, but, like, you're calling us out for it for just because we're YouTubers. Like, who, would we, who would we need to be for it to not be getting cringy and for you to actually want us to succeed instead of hoping we fuck up for your own personal entertainment? Well, I just I find it weird that you'd want my blessing. I don't see what that. I don't. Would I, don't, I, don't, I, don't I'm, I don't need your blessing. I'm just picking your brain. I'm gonna. I'm gonna fucking do it regardless. I just. I just want to know why you feel like this. Because it's YouTubers starting a political party. Yeah, but fucking Trump was a reality star, and he fucking ended yeah, up. Yeah, but he wasn't a YouTuber, though, was he? I don't know if I was. Yeah, well, it's Trump. about so it's YouTubers. YouTubers of intermensch that aren't allowed to try and do anything. So, well, when no, I look no, at the no, soup, no, well, no, 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 no. When I look at the the soup of modernity, when I when I'm looking at social media, f- you know, feeding into people's narcissism and egos, when I'm looking at millennials that live their life on Twitter and Facebook and YouTube where they're fed the idea that they can succeed in anything, they just need to have a positive mindset, they're going to go out there with a Goku get em attitude and change the world. 
yeah, I find it cringy because I don't think the reality of the situation they're in has really hit them. And I okay. don't think, I, I think they overestimate their ability to accomplish what they're trying to do. Well, it's true, well the funny thing is, if you don't, if you don't think, I've, that's, I've already covered on that earlier, like, if you don't think we can do it, then that's absolutely fine if that's what you believe, but don't you, and the thing was, I asked you earlier, if you, don't you hope that we would, though, because it would be something extremely positive, and you said no, because you wouldn't well, find I mean, it Well, I mean, what would I be doing? hoping for, though? I mean, again, this goes back to policies. You, 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 freedom of speech, how? How is that implemented? What are you changing? What we would personally hope for is the repeal of all fucking hate speech laws in its entirety, unless it's stuff so, that is an actual direct incitement to violence and also for... So then why isn't that simple concept, right, that very basic concept that I don't think many people would disagree with, why is that not set in stone as a policy? It that seems really is. straightforward. In Britain, it's not right now. It's no, no, I'm saying uh, it's part of the liberalist movement. I haven't seen that listed as part one. Uh, for it, in like it's, it's, it's literally listed under liberalist principles. Freedom of expression is a necessary and fundamental pillar of a free society. What we've done is we've outlined the goals, which is what you do when you start any movement. You have a goal that you want to strive towards. You then come together to decide how you're going to achieve that goal. It's not something that we can achieve in this you know, short period of time. We need to obviously do research, band together, have discussions, have Start about two or three months ago. Well, how the, no one's going to be able to accomplish that in two or three months. We need to try and establish a basically an action plan, which is the stage that everyone's at. That's what uh, I'm doing. I know, say. but you've got to, you know, that that just there's always the <laughs> there's always the danger of stagnating at the talking about talking point, yeah, where we'll, you, we'll, we're going to get we'll, together and express yeah. the ideas we want, and then that lasts for two years. We have we have we have actually made measures. Like for example, we're looking at politicians who have actually made comments in regards to free speech that it should be protected and stuff like that and we've kind of one thing that we noticed as well we're looking into them is that they've kind of been treated as the black sheep of the parties that they've become a part of and what we're basically trying to do is communicate with as many of them as we can to basically let them know you're not alone these people agree with you these other politicians agree with you you will have our public support if you push for free speech like for example i was in a stream the other day with uh, anne-marie waters and she's for, with the for britain party where she's trying to get it fully established as a party but they're just fudging her so much on the paperwork because uh, we think it's because they see it as a threat and she actually wants to draft up a british constitution <laughs> that like obviously puts together fundamental basic human rights to free speech expression and things like that as well and that's something that if we manage to give her support and we actually manage to draft up a british constitution that would actually make change and she's filed the paperwork to get recognized as an official party and there are mps with other parties who actually plan to join her and that's something that we obviously want to help and assist with so that is one of the things that we could use to achieve the end goal wait and who's starting that again Anne Marie Waters, it's the For Britain Party. Not to be not to be confused with Britain First. She's not, that, she's, would that, would she, that apply to Scotland too? What'd yeah, you say it's Scotland's part of the UK. It's like Northern Ireland, Scotland, Wales, and England. Well, no, no, I know. I just yeah. didn't know if it was regional or if she wanted. Yeah, Scotland is a state of a, the UK. Right. Yeah. Well, no, I yeah. meant if the policy was regional or if it was for the whole United Kingdom. Like whole, whole um, United Kingdom. Okay, okay, but I mean, that goes back to my earlier point. So there are parties and people that are advocating for free speech and want to implement laws to see that go through. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that we can also agree with simply every single thing that party's putting out. I agree fucking hard with the Constitution part. I agree really fucking hard with that part. But then there might be other parts that I need to look in more to their actual, uh, what's it called, manifesto. So that I can see, because obviously I don't want to just turn around and go, oh, you want a constitution? Holy shit, you have 100% of my, my support when, you know, I don't know entirely all of their policies. So the fact is, like, they might be wanting a constitution, they might want a bunch of other shit that we feel, like, wouldn't be good for society as a whole. So we can't just, you know, pour all of our support behind this one person when we don't know everything that she fully wants to implement. So far, I'm impressed with her, but I'm not going to come out in full support until I know everything that I want to know. Yeah, because it's it's just that a lot of the political parties have their own agendas. Yeah, and basically we need to either go into them political parties and change them, or we need to start our own. Um, in in Australia again, because the political parties that we semi agree with are so small, it's gonna be pretty easy to co op them. Not really co op them, but like go in there and change some shit. But uh, yeah, you, you can't you can't expect us just to go. Oh well, this person agrees with us a little bit, better bend the fuck over. Oh, Labour kind of agrees with this. Better vote for Labour. Let's join Labour. It's you, you, you get me. Like you, we can't, 
we can't forfeit most of our beliefs just to like fulfill one of our goals. Yeah. Like I, I want the fucking anti discrimination act um in Australia to be fucking taken out and really fucking changed, especially section eighteen D, which means you can't insult fucking people based on their fucking race and crap. Which, because it, it's a dick move to do that, but I don't think you should get fucking jailed for it. Um, but, you know, there's, there's certain groups that are advocating to get rid of that, but they're also advocating to, you know, fucking deport all immigrants from the last four years. So it's like, you know, can't really can't really agree with people just because they agree on one point. It's what communists do, really. Hey, hey, hey just real quick, uh, just an update. <laughs> We're at about 330, 340 members. You're taking that crown. Uh, thank you, everyone, for joining. Uh, it's pretty much a hentai slash tranny fucking porn site Discord. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> far. I've been keeping an eye on it. That sounds an awful lot late, mate. Apparently, uh, Sargon is in the chat. Oh, uh, great. What's, what's, he, what's he saying? You capos I failed him. Stepfather's stepping in now. Sit back, boys. Oh, 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 I'm so oh, sorry, Daddy Sargon. Oh, don't to get in here. Stop being a retard. Fuck. <laughs> like, well, seriously. Like, <laughs> Wait, like, seriously. Stop fucking looking in the chat, Sargon. If you want to fucking complain about something, get in here. Fuck. <laughs> Didn't you just say you advised him not to go on streams? Now you're trying to get him in here? Are you really trying a coup? Are we watching yeah. this real time? Alright, here, here would be the comment he has. Hold on, here's the comment from Sargon. Dank is a man facing jail because of unjust laws. Jim is a cuck who hides his identity because he's afraid of being accountable. Case oh, God, you know, Tonka, I guess, I, wait, Tonka, I guess my response to that would be, it's pretty ironic, a man raising another man's child calling me a cuck. Oh, oh my God. Maybe make your own kid, Sargon, before you start slinging that insult. Just saying. Ooh, I don't think... That was that. It's getting spicy in here. Getting a little oh, heated. Getting a little salsa uh, flavor. Yeah, little a little spicy. Jesus. A little, 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 jeez. God, I mean, does he even have time to message you on this, you know, the chat window and stuff? Shouldn't he be talking to trannies on Facebook? Oh. Just saying, just saying, oh. Sargon, I don't know. Maybe oh, like, what the fuck are you about? What the fuck are you about, man? Talking, talking to cute oh, traps no. is like 90% of my internet existence, man. <laughs> what the fuck's wrong with that? Billy, wouldn't, wouldn't uh, sending traps to Africa solve the whole, you know, them breeding more than us problem? Wouldn't that fix it? I don't know. I'll have to defer. I'll have to defer to the opinion of a black man. Sargon, what are your thoughts on that? Oh wait, I can't so is he black here. today or not? What's what's his ethnicity today? Is his grandfather oh black or is he Mediterranean or is he European? I can never tell. It's different every day. Well, Mediterraneans are black, aren't they? I mean, <laughs> are we having fun? Does he want to come in and talk? Seriously though, I feel like Sargon. That that is a good point. He is retarded, but um, you should probably get in here and is. It, it insult people to their face. I think he, well, I don't think he, Jim would have any problem with that, but, uh, I'm, I, li I, li I love shit shows. You're right. I, I like, yeah, I something I tells me he would have zero good. issues with that. Um, oh. yeah. I need to go shower and shit, man, because I've got stuff to do, so I can't hang around much longer. It's well, yeah, man. enjoy your enjoy your freedom, shit, man. You got eight days. Go out to the bar, fuck yeah, some chicks. Yeah, seriously, man. Go, go yes. fucking to a yeah, bottle. Yeah, don't talking to us, like, I'm, I love I love with my girlfriend, so she might have a problem with that. But like, what, yeah. what, 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 <laughs> gosh, I'm okay with it. Yeah. What, what you got to do is you got to go back to Ireland, okay? Go to Ireland, get get some of their pipe bombs, shut up your ass, and then you can escape. Simple. <laughs> By blowing my fucking ass up. Yeah, chill, man. <laughs> go get a rocket launcher. Well, All right, blow up some fucking speed traps. I have to the price of freedom, man. Fucking, you need to just fucking flee the country, man. Stop, stop. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll, I'll no, Count Dankula's yeah. staying and toughing it out. Oh, yeah. go go to the Ecuadorian um the Ecuadorian consul. Go there. Uh, they accept people. No, nah, fuck that. <laughs> anyway, to Argentina. I hear that's where Hitler ended up. Oh God. Peace, anyway, dude. I'll, I'll talk to you guys later. All right. See you. Yeah. Guys. Peace, man. You have a good night. Take it easy, man. God, that's some rough shit. Eight days of freedom until uh, prosecutors come after him. <laughs>